Hey, hey, happy Friday. What's going on? What's going on? Let's, uh, let me just make sure everything's all, all cool and good. Make sure, make sure we're set. And let me, uh, let me set. Oh, is it a bit low? Hang on. I think the music is a bit lower than I normally have it. So my voice probably came in like really, <laughs> really big. And uh, the funny do this, pop out. Great. Great. Sup, yo, yo, great Eric's. Hey, sup, start speaking. <laughs> Set a reminder for the stream and it didn't go off, which gives YouTube. I, I know YouTube is just sometimes like. It, like, I'll get notifications. I mean, I don't set notifications. I, I set them for, um, actually, I, I think, what did I set them for? I think I set them for something like, uh, what's the one where it's like you get, you get definitive notifications for the channels you want and then, like, suggested notifications? Point is, when you have it like that, the suggested notification, I know sometimes I'll get, like, hey, so-and-so is streaming, and then their stream's already done. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. Yeah, I, I know YouTube just does the notifications. Well, it, it depends, though, because I know for Pokemon, because uh, I, ha I have my notifications set for the Pokemon YouTube channel, and um, those ones I do get, like, the second they upload, typically. All right, anyway, here comes down the Sutopolis City music. And let's shift on over to L Gameplay. Um, so yeah, I, I know I know they're they're funny sometimes with <laughs> I know YouTube's funny sometimes with notifications. Also, I turned on uh, I set a slow mode for the chat, just like uh, you know, 15 seconds or so. Let me know if that need if that should come down. But I do kind of want to do something like that where it's like not a whole like you know not an instant. Uh, may maybe I should set it to 10 just so that it's not like. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Let me let me know how that works, or if it if it's fine. Cause I, I can always like I can bring it down to like ten or five if need be. Yeah, the cat. Sound bushed. I am a bit. I guess I am a bit tired. Spaghetti. Reasonable. I mean, not like, not saying that like oh obviously like oh don't don't spam chat or whatever, but just like I th I think that it's it might be a good idea to try it out. Um, ju just, just to try things out. Uh, I'm, ju I, I can, I can go either way. <laughs> I can get rid of it, but hey, point is, we're back. We're back. And, uh, I think I, okay, we ended things off in Rustboro City. This is what we have so far. With us. Verde the Grovile. Pato the Lombre. Mossy the Breloom. Sparky the Electrike. And then all of the Oddish who's hanging around for cut. Reasonable whoops. Okay. This might be the episode. This might be the stream. Where we get um where we go where we get our trap inch going. So we're going with green. You know, I forgot too totally that um it makes a lot of sense. I was, was about to try to fly. Uh but it makes sense totally to um for green, I guess, this month. Because I forgot, oh, you know, uh St. Patrick's Day and then also spring. Uh, and funny too, because uh, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon on Twitter posted like a little, some picture or something for the first day of spring that said like, oh, what do all these Pokemon have in common? And it's a bunch of grass types. And my answer was just green. What do they have in common? Green. Uh, but yeah, good week. Pretty good week. I probably do sound a bit tired because I, I kind of am. Uh, so today, uh, Temporal Forces came out. That's the new Pokemon TCG set. Are you still here? Oh, it's you. Yeah, that person did not have been put over words. Stolen package. Previously delivered. Captain Stern informed me. Thank you very much. Rain cloud. Gratitude. Most wonderful trainer. Very good news. Recently, Pokeball. Uh, company developed a new Pokeball. Oh, yeah, that's right. He gives me the... The repeat ball. Please do try it out. Okay. Weird little... That too. Uh, oh, yeah. So, like I was saying, today, uh, Temporal Forces came out. The new set for the Pokemon card game. Ooh. Wait, let me let me do the Rusturf Tunnel event. I actually don't think I did it 
Or no, I had to do it, obviously, to get through here. The Whismur. And, uh... <laughs> Why can't I keep digging? If this bedrock is too hard, my beloved awaits me in Verdant Turf Town just beyond here. If Rusper and Verdant Turf were joined by this tunnel, I could visit her every day. But this, what am I to do? Oh, come on, I was gonna do the funny story beat right immediately. Right immediately. I don't want to go on on my tangent about my about my story until I complete this little story beat. Rock Beard Speed Rickroll, Rock Smash. <laughs> you! You shatter that boulder block in the way! To show you how much I appreciate it, I'd like you to have this HM. <laughs> Contains strength, muscular Pokemon were to learn this, be even more large boulders. Wanda! Now I can see you anytime. That's wonderful. Please take some rest at my home. Yo? Huh? Yo? Yo? Yo, they about to rock smash? Uh, anyway, let me let me check up on the let me catch up on chat a bit. Am I gonna box the Onish? Because it wouldn't evolve in Sun Green. Yeah, I'm gonna box it. Uh, I was just hanging around for cut and to fill out the team a bit. Wait, what? Releasing Trap Inch music? <laughs> Am I gonna make Gen 4 videos? Like the one make regularly for Gen 3? Um, probably not too immediately. If And if I do, I'd probably just go and use footage from Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Uh, because I'm really, really wanting to use my own footage that I capture and record for stuff. And uh, I, have, I have something that lets me capture footage for Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. Which is, you know, how we're streaming now and how I've been making those videos. I don't have one for uh, for DS, and I don't want to. You could okay, you could emulate, but I think I'd rather have. Uh, I'm I'm just like I want to. I want to have like a complete physical collection of every Pokemon game. I want to have every physical Pokemon game played through, and I want like my own recorded footage for everything, if that makes sense. Come on, the with Mega Evolutions, specifically concept for Mega, log on nothing else. Hey ho, hi, hey, how's it going? Is it gonna be all, s wait, all steel types? Wait, those buggers are broken. For what? Good streams. Hey, thank you. Time to audibly stim yourself while reading One Piece. Let's get that background noise going. Tell me this guy m managed to dig through <laughs> solid walls of this cave, but he couldn't make it past the breakable rock. I forget. Oh, because it was um, what was the story for Ruster of Tunnel? It was that um, it oh it was that they were digging and they were using a bunch of equipment, but it was bothering all the Whismur because you know it was really loud and they're like sensitive to sound. So oh, is that Wanda? No, that's the NPC. I was I like, thinking that was Wanda? No, she's not that close to the route, is she? Yeah, see, there's Wanda. You are? Oh, right, I get it. You're the Josh who Wally was telling me about. I'm w Wally's cousin. Glad to meet you. I think Wally's become a lot more lively and healthy since he came here. Thanks to you, I can see my girlfriend every day. Happy? You bet I am. Oh, okay. Slow modes on. Yeah, I'm I'm trying it out. It's not too it's not like too uh restrictive hopefully. Speaking of megas, I bet you right now Surfesh will be in Legends and he'll get Mega Form. It's an interesting choice. I think that might be interesting to like do like, hey, let's give this Pokemon an evolution and then like a, a mega right away. Oh yeah, we're going to Mount Chimney. That's right, that's the next thing. Uh, let me know, does the gameplay look... Let me, let me know if the gameplay looks alright. Or if it's a bit too choppy. Maybe I'll try and... Give the capture card. Maybe... Or try refreshing this. And hopefully that does it. I think... I think... It might be a capture card issue. 
Just like the very minor choppiness. Uh, which, you know, I keep talking about it, but like... Come on, man. I don't want to spend money on thing. Pull this up. Sup, nerds? Hey, how's it going? So disappointed when Mega Evolutions were announced to return. Um, I'm excited just because I like them. Should spend all day trying to get the, the little cutscene here. If they do me out for him, it's going to be Puss in Boots with a sword. My trolling? Oh. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll mention that. This morning... This morning I accidentally uh, put the members only podcast. I accidentally set it to public. Well, because I, it was in the options, it said, "Hey, do you want to schedule this stream for the mem for members, or not stream? Do you want to schedule this video for members? Okay, sure, schedule it for this time." But then it made it public instead of just for members, so I I don't know. Uh, I apologize if that's the case, and I might as well mention too that like, yeah, the the podcast is members only because I wouldn't do it normally. I wouldn't normally do a, a podcast and otherwise. Uh, and it's like, it's an extra thing to thank you, like thank channel members, uh, because, you know, for the time that it takes me to put together, and because if I were to just put one normally, I know it wouldn't get as many views, uh, and so I wouldn't, not that like, you know, ad and views matter, but like, it kind of does when I'm spending the amount of time I do to get it done. And then again, you know, to have uh, my friend Bait on, you know, to have him take like time out of his day to come over and record a podcast that, you know, he doesn't, you know, he's not, he's not a YouTuber. So this doesn't like benefit him in exposure or like collaboration or anything. He, he's literally just doing it as a favor for me and I'm like compensating him for it because I'm, again, I'm taking time out of his day. So that's the, just that little, let me get that out there. <laughs> but if anyone happened to watch it, uh, I hope you, I hope you enjoy the little, the little teaser. <laughs> the dogs are. Oh, what the dog doing? We're Team Aqua, they're Team Magma. It birds me up <laughs> that they'd use such a confusing name. Also, Archie's... Archie's dog is going wild. Catch up. Oh yeah, it was my sense of talent, just like me. Are you trying the... How about trying the short style streams? I don't think I'd do that for like this. I think I'd try it with a different game. Gameplay looks alright to me. Okay, thank you. No, it's not jarring. Basically what you expect from Gen 3. How about next Luck? Every time I lose a Pokemon, I'll have to eat something spicy. I mean, I'm fine with spicy food. Not like super, super spicy, but like I, I eat spicy food enough. Hi, hey, how's it going? Keep okay, Brian the cable car till you see the hiker. I'd like to try that. It's not the even beside public. Wasn't able to watch it. Maybe getting back completely reasonable. Oh, okay, no problem. Got something great today. It's the, the Jada Toys one, wait, 132 scale mystery machine. Ooh. Here, let me get let me get to the story stuff. Girl, Josh, I should have guessed that you'd show up. See for yourself if uh see for yourself what these fanatics and Team Magma are up to. Trying to eject the stolen meteorite's power into the volcano. Doing something like that would cause the volcano's eruption. Yeah, we don't want that. Oh great. We got some double battle going. Uh I guess Pato's got water gun. But Mossy has. But Mossy has Mock Punch. They're dark types. Archie's Poochie used extreme speed. Archie in a triple battle before the introduction of triple battles. Yo, he's in a free-for-all. He's only got one Pokemon. It's obviously Archie using a performance dance and drugs on his Pokemon. That's why Pokemon always do that. Oh, you got this alongside with the the 132 scale beetle from Lilo and Stitch. What? Those sound like cool. Those sound like cool gets. I kind of want to like. Uh, and actually, yeah, I should have. Uh, oh wait, no, we have headbutt. Headbutt's gonna be good. See, I, I kind of want to get more into like addition other collectibles. Um, right now, no, not necessarily. Uh. I mean, I have some nice stuff, some nice collectibles. I actually relatively recently moved my uh, collectible 
you know, cabinet, like the little glass cabinet display case right next to my desk. So right now as I'm sitting streaming, I can look over and I can see all my, my Nuff stuff. I can see my, my Dark Magician Girl and my Yami Yugi figurines. And my Mei from Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire figurine. And then, uh, you know, some, oh, my, my uh, General Grievous Transformer inbox. But yeah, uh, mostly sticking to Pokemon cards because, you know, uh, on one hand, I can I can sell the stuff that I pull that I don't want, I can build decks, uh, and then I can also open up, up for content, which, like I said, I mentioned earlier today, the, the whole, uh, what do you call it, the whole thing about Temporal Forces co coming out today. Uh, I got an Elite Trainer Box and a little booster bundle, and uh, I opened those up on video right before the stream, which is probably why I maybe sounded a bit tired. Um, but, uh, so, so those videos will be going up over the weekend. Yu-Gi-Oh fan? Yeah. I, I have a Yu-Gi-Oh channel, which I, I need to, I've been meaning to upload on some more. But, uh, Gator X Yu-Gi-Oh is uh, another channel. Again, not, not as frequent as this channel, just because I, I need to focus on the main one. And uh, hopefully I'll get back to doing more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I have some scripts already written. But yeah. <laughs> I'm a, uh, I like Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, and I need I need to get back to doing some... Or playing Master Duel. I kind of want to stream some Master Duel sometime too on the other channel. Um, so yeah. the I think I'll upload the Elite Trainer Box video tomorrow. And then the Booster Bundle a bit later. And, uh, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything, but, um, there's some behind-the-scenes stuff working out that's gonna be, that's gonna make for some cool stuff. That's all I'll say. <laughs> uh, and then obviously this week, yeah, it's, it's been a long week. Like I said, uh, I had bait over on Monday, and we recorded the member podcast. Uh, dude, we were cooking. It was such a good, it was such a good chat. And I'm so glad we, you know, actually, you know, did it and recorded it all. Which, uh, went up today. Uh, so if you remember, you can listen to that. Um, I think I am going to make those like timed things, though, where it's like maybe after a month or two, after they've been member only, I'll go ahead and make them like unlisted so that anybody with a link can w listen. Uh, I'm considering doing that. But again, it, you know, it, I, it's a... Uh, the point is, is that I wanted to start it off as a member thing for sure, because like I said, it, it couldn't happen otherwise. The power contained in the meteorite. By amplifying its power with this machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will instantly intensify. Its energy will grow deep inside the crater and... <laughs> hmm, who are you? I'd heard Archie bemoaning a child who's been meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. It must be you, he meant. <laughs> You're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma? Now you listen. Long ago, living things used <laughs> use the land to live and grow. That is why land is all important. It is a cradle of all. That is why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of the landmass. It is for further enhancement of humankind and Pokemon, and for that we need the power of what sleeps within its this mountain. Oh, there was no need for you to learn that much. <laughs> but no matter, I'll teach you the consequence of meddling in our grand design. Yeah, that's right, this is the first time we meet Maxi in, uh, in Emerald. You saw a $40 Dark Magician Girl figurine in the store, you're so tempted. Oh, if it's a pop-up parade, then yeah. Um, cause I, I, oh gosh, Intimidate. Uh, yeah, cause I have a handful of pop-up parade figures from Good Smile. And those are nice ones because, yeah, they're literally, like, they're 40 bucks. And it, so it's, like, a good, uh, price range for, like, a pretty good quality figurine. Uh, and I, the thing I love, too, is that their bases are all hexagon, so they all kind of, like, go together. Uh, so yeah, that's the one I have. I have the pop-up parade Dark Magician Girl and the Yami Yugi. I want to get the Kaiba. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. But other than that, I'll go ahead and look over and I'll tell you the others in there, in the case. Yami Yugi, uh, Dark Magician Girl. Also got uh, Kotoko Iwanaga from <laughs> from Inspector. And then uh, and then we got <laughs> uh, we got Aqua Megumin and Yunyun from Konosuba. Oh, we can fake out. The German company Dicky Toys distributes data since 2019. Okay. If you can eat a Pokemon, what would you, would you want to eat? Slowpoke Tail. 
hundred percent. I want to eat. I want to eat that big slowpoke tail. I bet it tastes like ham. Subscribe. Thank you. Watching Pokemon Emerald play who just hits with nostalgia. Friday's the vibe with Pokemon kind of day. Let's go. And was I using Absorb on this, thinking it was a water move? I don't have a water move. What the heck? What is nature power here? Rock slide. Okay, it's neutral, and maybe we can get a flinch. And we gotta we gotta get out of here actually. I gotta get out of here. No! I accidentally mashed A. Was what was Team Aqua trying to do here? I think they were trying to do a similar thing, but like Yeah, I guess it kinda doesn't make sense that they'd like, yo, let's let's get this uh let's get this volcano erupted. It was going to end up doing something with, um, something with water, I guess. Oh, nice, we got a free switch. Gator X's Pokemon D&D. &D. I would like to tr do that. Because, again, you know, the, just the fact that, I mean, you know, I, I very much appreciate my friends in that they're like, if I ask, like, hey, do you want to record a thing? They're like, sure. Say no more. So... I think it'd be funny to do like a little one-off thing, or other like, or otherwise not just with them, but like, if you do want to do like the full like, you know, collab thing, I could ask some other creators, because I think like, you know, the Pokemon D and D homebrews are like a good idea, and because like honestly, what, I Maxi was caught off guard, uh, and especially because like you know, if Dungeons and Dragons did not exist, then neither would Pokemon, N sort of. Josh, thank you. For your help, we thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. But you, whose side are you on? It doesn't matter. We will remain vigilant and keep up our, our pursuit of Team Magma. Josh, we shall meet again. Yeah, whose side am I on? I'll take the meteorite. Is this like... I'm trying to think. There are other volcanoes in Pokemon, but is this the one that we can, like, literally go right up to the peak of and, like, and just be... <laughs> Just be right by the magma. Like, just look into it. Like, you know. Could you could throw the one ring in there if you if you really wanted to. Um, what was I saying? It's my favorite TV series. Um, honestly, probably Star Wars or Clone Wars. Then after that, Avatar The Last Airbender. Lava Cookie. Lava Cookies are Mount Chimney's local specialty. Try one. Thank you, dear. Oh. I can't believe I... I completely forgot that, um... Okay, yeah, let's keep Mossy in front to get some... To gain some more levels. I forgot, we're gonna have to try and... We're gonna have to figure out something to do against Flannery here. I think slow potato just tastes like a fancier hot dog. I mean... I'd eat that still. Big sausage. Oh yeah, really in love with the Kotobukiya Atem figure. That would be cool. I'm like, let me let me get the budget stuff. Shout out to one aura. Wait, shout out to Oras. <laughs> Those evil teams are great. I think they're still like, I think they're relatively the same. The d design wise is like different. I prefer the new designs, but like story wise, I think they're relatively. I gotta replay it, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty similar. What if it's a mix of your friends and collaborators to make it diverse? That'd be interesting, but I don't know how, like... I know there'd still be, like, that kind of awkward thing. Of, like, you know... You, got, you gotta figure out, like, chemistry stuff. And, you know, you know, there's the whole thing of, like... Uh, I mean, this is a meme, but, you know, the whole, uh, the friend group A and the friend group B kind of thing. I mean, I no doubt that, like... Everyone could get along, but it's still like, um, me with my friends is a different dynamic than me with other YouTubers when we're in call. I don't think there's any matcha. Looks green enough. D and D and Pokemon. <laughs> what? Yeah, I love that Archie doesn't process that. Not wanting to either increase the landmass or decrease the landmass. 
Oh yeah, he's like, oh. <laughs> you stopped us before, but now you helped us. I didn't help you. I stopped Mag Team Magma. Numel. Okay, let me, let me see what I do against the Numel. Okay, not bad. And yeah, actually at this point, I think the best thing it gets is Ember, honestly. Well, actually, no, Flannery's probably going to have some Pokemon with, uh... <laughs> Flannery's definitely going to have some Pokemon with Flamethrower, I feel like. Yeah, sure, there's a Mystery Dungeon game that does that. Like Pokemon D&D. Or... Spoink. How's the games? This game? Good, good. Oh, thanks for addressing the question about type balance. Good thing they get it rail a bit, but do you think that any type should be buffed? I think, honestly... Yeah, Ice and... Oh, gosh, there's another Magma. Oh, that's right, they have a secret base here, huh? Uh, type that... I, I think, I think honestly, yeah, let's, let's do it with bug type. Bug and Ice are, like, just the ones... Like, the easy answer, but it's, like, it's true. Um, like, they, the thing is, is that, like, just because, oh, mostly with Bug, oh, Grass. Like, I send Grass, I don't like how many weaknesses they have, but that's not something you can change, necessarily. Well, what are you doing here? What am I doing in a place like this? What business is it of yours? Man, I forgot about this extra thing in Emerald. Du, du, du. Yeah, hit that mock punch. Yeah, I, I think I got a little too excited about the idea of bug dragon Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, personally wish electric was good against steel. It's pretty weak in meta. That's true. It at least resists steel. But I, I still think like electric is like consistently solid at least because just because of the fact that like it oh it has one weakness. And especially if it's pure electric. I'm thinking. Yeah, I think that would be the main thing, is that, like, just the steel is just, like, bulky against everything in general. Give me back my health. I'm probably opinion, ice the best type. I do really like ice. Gained more appreciation for it recently. Got a little excited about the bug dragon. <laughs> Well, it's a cool, it's a cool idea, I think. Counter, no. We just need the mock punch. Greetings, hey. Oh, Torkoal has overheat. Yikes. Do you guys have multiple friend groups? Oh, he ducked into the hideout. Uh. Okay, oh, okay, I'll, I'll admit it, you're strong. Don't worry about me, go wherever you want. Yeah, that opens up later. I guess not just friend groups, but like different social groups, like, you know, you could say. Somehow there's no official Pokemon Mystery Dungeon that plays like anything close to D&D. Thankfully, like with D&D, it's all like, it's all just homebrew. Like you're able to just do that. Pretty easy. What Pokemon would you play if you were in Pokemon D&D? I think I would... I think I would go with Totodile. I'd still do... I, I feel like it's a basic answer for me, but... Let me chomp. Let me chomp everyone and everything. Need more normal flying type? Need, like... Let's get another plain flying type. Like, only flying type. I know I would love Bug Dragon, but they should make Bug Resist Fairy. Ooh, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, that would actually make sense. I don't... You know, I kind of don't get why that wasn't the case in the first place. Or, what Resist Fairy normally? Um, poison... Steel? Is it just Poison and Steel that Resist Fairy? Hmm... Or fire, doesn't fire resist fairy? Oh gosh, I gotta... I gotta, like... Look things up.
Hmm. Let's just give Verde some more of that experience. Oh yeah, it was nice giving this area another purpose. You know, uh, Emerald. Yeah, and I think it makes sense too because like, you know, the one ocean base, or like the base right outside, uh, Lily Cove. It's like, well, okay, that's Team Aqua's base. Okay, well, we need something for Team Magma now. Um... Oh, yeah, we can smite you. Ooh, and we can do that on you. Oh, yeah, all of Owen has stuff that you're really getting new bases. True. What? Something about Twitter? Oh. What does that mean? No, no. I mean, this is a great... I don't know what he means. I don't know what he meant by that. Yo! Man, if only that was like a... Fell Stinger. Oh, Poisonous Steel. Yeah, what's well, super effective on Fairy. Okay, no. Fire Resist... Yeah, Fire Resist Fairy. Actually, a 6 resistance, which makes it second to steal defensively. Poison and steel are against fairy fairies. Oh, but don't they resist? Fairy also? I could have sworn they resist fairy out too. Jagged Pass is hard to walk on. Is this like the one area in the game where you can use Acrobike to go up? To go up ledges, you know, with the rocks that you bounce on. That's why. That's why I need the 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 whole thing in <laughs> in the game where it tells you what type is super effective <laughs> against the Pokemon you're battling. Nice, we can do the fake out. Man, I love using fake out. Dun, dun. See, I, I wish too that inside the gym the nature trip power would be that. Yeah, I think I think that's just what I'm gonna I'm I'm just gonna dive right in against Flannery with my mostly grass team and just go just go right ahead no do you battle no i was gonna say all in no fear but actually it would be a lot of fear <laughs> it would be a lot of fear is this the first time playing pokemon emerald no it is not uh, tech I, honestly, it's actually only the second time. I've only played it once. Years ago. So, I'm very, um... So, I'm, like, remembering, like, oh, th yeah, this is... That's true. This is the case for this thing. But I generally know. I know generally, but it's, like... It's, it's a nice little pleasant surprise going through it and, like, um... Seeing everything, like, oh, that's right. This was changed for Emerald from <laughs> the original, uh... Ruby and Sapphire. Pokemon Herb Shop. Alright, I'm doing it. So if you place in the far Safari Zone that use it? Okay. There she is. We're coming for you. I feel like Grass is actually the worst type. Has five weaknesses. Yeah, and so many times resist it. Not for the Drain of Power moves. Oh yeah, Ogre Pond. Oh, compared to Ice, yeah. Alright, we want to battle. We want to actually battle all the trainers here to get more experience. What? What did Bless Cephalon say after using all its PP on the move? Mind blown? <laughs> so no head? <laughs> Can we at least hit these guys neutral? You're gonna get got with that team? I will simply be better. I will simply be better than Flannery. 
Nah, I'd win. <laughs> Plus, I actually think her Pokemon are barely level 28. So I'll have a handful of levels on her. While I'm uh, googling Flannery's team. Oh, it would have been a double battle if we got through both wolves at the same time. Dun, 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 dun. Because all she has... Flannery. Flannery has a Numal, a Slugma, Camerupt, and Torkoal. Torkoal is going to be a problem. It is level 29. But that's the highest level she has. Everything else is level 24. And then 126. So... It shouldn't be too bad. The thing that that's the thing. Torkoal's defensive, physically defensive, and the special moves that I have are grass. So, yo, Cackleon. You look. See, here's a Cackleon, right? Oh wait, no, I can. Do the funny mock punch on it. And then a neutral leaf blade. Because both Numo and Camerupt take neutral damage from grass moves. And even still, Mossy's got a big, like, big headbutt and mock punch. And, uh. Actually. You know, honestly. Oh, wait, it has white herb. It's. Hang on, her, her Torko's holding a white herb. So, hmm. But its only attacking move is overheat. Oh, I should have bought revives. That's what I should have done. Here, a Pokemon have attract. So, I honestly, I think that's where Mossy comes in handy. She's immune to it. There's a full, uh, one full heal. Oh, I bought a lava cookie. He got poker us for the first time at Emerald a few days ago. Ooh, nice. Yeah, simply outplay the AI, exactly. <laughs> yeah. All our Pokemon have overheat, though. That is a problem. That actually is... Oh, that actually is a problem. Um... Yeah, because all, all the other things using Ember against me are just, like, you know, wimpy. And so I can take an Ember, but they all have Overheat. Every, po every one of her Pokemon has Sunny Day and Overheat. Wow. All of them have Sunny Day and Overheat. Wow, really? Really? Hmm. Oh, I came up. I came there already. So yeah, this is the way we go. I must be getting tired now. No. Hmm. Wow, actually, her whole team having overheat is kind of crazy. It's actually kind of crazy. Realm can overpower all the Torkoal with neutral hits, I'm sure. That's true. Because Headbutt goes pretty crazy. See? Headbutt... Headbutt deals with... Nearly deals with Numal and Slugma. Then Camerupt... Takes neutral... Damage and... Potentially flinches. Hmm. And they're all going to lose special attack from one overheat. Except for Torkoal, which has wider. <laughs> Wait, can anyone learn Thief? So what if we just steal the wider? <laughs> yeah, what if we just steal the wider? 
Yeah, Torkoal probably is it. No, Torkoal doesn't have her. It's only attacking move is Overheat and Body Slam. Oh, Body Slam paralyzes it. Yeah, Flannery is actually one of like the actual pretty difficult battles in the game. Your favorite fire type, Kecleon. <laughs> favorite fish Pokemon, Octillery. Maybe get Chip on Torkoal and sack him on to get Breloom in safely and finish it. That is a play. Oh, I was gonna say Electra or Sparky's still gaining experience. Not enough though. And it only has it only has that. And against the camera up and Tor against the camera up and Numo, it's not gonna be helpful. But it can paralyze Torkoal. It can paralyze Torkoal. Shockwave. We could give it Shockwave, but I don't want to keep it. I don't think I'm going to keep it around long, so I don't want to use up. Uh... Pato can learn Thief. But I don't want to use up my TMs on Pokemon that are going to be shifting out soon. Let me see where I stand after continuing to battle. Trainers. Let's see how it goes. I will simply, I will simply not lose. And actually, we're back at the beginning anyway. After this hole, so let me just go out and heal and. Maybe grab some extra items. Because, yeah, see, look here. Mossy just obliterates Slugma. And basically does the same thing to Numel. Man, that wasn't enough to get up to the next level. Yeah, let me heal. <laughs> Arthropods aren't fish. Sure. Yeah, she's easiest when you choose Marsh Tomp. Which, that's how it went last time when we were uh, using water only. Yeah, favorite Glalie type Pokemon, Dark. <laughs> does Lombre... No, Lombre does not learn Water Gun. That is the funniest thing. Lombre does not get water gun by leveling up. Isn't that a funny story? Isn't that hilarious? Can you believe it? It's all a bunch of old people in this town. Alright, we're gonna buy uh Oh we got we got some. We're gonna we're gonna buy a few more. No full heal. We're gonna get paralyzed heal because that's a few more because that's a <laughs> with that body slam. That's all I'm gonna get. Fine. Let me let me find one more. Let me find one more wild Pokemon to battle. <laughs> one nugget. Actually, I should I should manage my I should go manage my items. Uh, oh, that's only level 15. Let me just get up to level 29 and we'll start- we'll start things there. There we go. Let's see, I- I think the hiker or the camper, apparently I think it's like a 1 in 64 chance. Sometime I'll just like go back and forth to try and get it because I think eventually I will need That <laughs> I'll need like footage of that just to have handy What's the fire sludge Pokemon's name? I can never remember uh, Me neither Actually, yeah, we can buy lava cookies because those are just full heals Lombre doesn't have a clock in his Rari Yeah, we broached this last time 
They deliberately withhold water moves into- oh yeah, until in later in the game. Is the fifth gym really that late in the game? Oh, I have to get the hiker. Hiker grind set. No. <laughs> I don't want to spend too much time doing that. Hey, you. You're looking mad sus. The hiker grind set. It's not just the hiker. It's the hiker, a camper. And I think there's like one more NPC that can be. Hmm. I'll try it. I'll try one time. <clears throat> yeah, it's crazy though how like right now in this game, like Mudkip is just the right answer when it comes to your starter. Or you know, <laughs> using Pokemon other than a bunch of grass types. Just standing there. I think this way. And here. Great, I think it's here. Yes. Cool. Ah. <sighs> 20 bucks down getting the hiker. <laughs> the hiker gambler grind said, okay. <clears throat> so that is the plan. Mossy gets rid of Sl Numel and Slugma before they even have a chance to move. Then we chip away at Camerupt to get a clean switch onto Torkoal. Uh, Mossy against Torkoal? But actually, no, why am I jumping in? I, I'm still formulating my plan. There's one simple reason you hit this gym. Numel! Here, we simply headbutt and one hit KO. Or flinch it. Either way. Let me do headbutt again just to make sure not to. Oh, the fog in the foreground. Oh, here's the camera up already. Um Yeah, we're gonna need Mossy for. Let me see what Pato does. We're gonna need 100% we need Mossy to go against. Torkoal, because it's immune to attract. Oh shoot, actually this camera has a attract also. Oh, okay, fake out. Yo, a crit on the fake out? Actually, we could have leech seed her. Let me see what nature power does. Oh, I want faster. Swift. That's not very... It's not very cool. Oh shoot, it set up a sunny day. Well, at least I got rid of a track. Hmm, I wish I had something useful to do. Oh cool, special attack draw. That's actually very good, that's very good. And it doesn't have the wider, that's very good. Actually, under Sunny Day, it's still very... It's still pretty bad. But we're faster, and we have a big Leaf Blade. That's neutral. Well, this is a fully evolved Pokemon. And she could just heal now. Yeah, that's still one-shots, yep. Because it's still just big. She didn't heal, though. Actually, we can mossy, mossy outspeed headbutt now. Yeah, yeah, because she didn't use the... Ooh, and a crit. Actually, let me see. Does she have any items that she uses? Now comes Slugma, and we just destroy Slugma. Slugma. 
Yeah. It's not looking terrible so far. Oh! No! No! That should have... Oh my gosh, that should have got it. Unless... Oh no. Because we were getting all the other level 24 Slugma. Now she's going to heal, though. Or use Sunlight again. Oh, I can fake out. Yeah, there's the heal. But it's one stage down and Sunlight is out. All of not the stall tactics. Neutral overheat with no sun, minus two, that... Oh, boy. Oh yeah, it's setting up screens now, oops. Oh, it has smog. Here. We're doing it, we're gonna cheese with some... revives. I normally don't like doing this, but the, li, kind of in a dire situation. Kind of in a dire situation. I didn't get the KO with Headbutt when I I feel like I really should have. Here. I'm mad. I'm mad. I should have... Yeah, I feel like I should have. I feel like I should have just got that KO with Headbutt. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Unfortunately, we can't let this thing stay here with all its, uh... We can't let this thing stay here with all... Oh, shoot. And we still gotta... We still gotta get through some... Oh, the lights are even wore off. Still gotta get through the wide herb on Torkoal. Why doesn't Lumbre get water moves already? Oh, a crit on the smog and a poison. Yeah, this is this is even very appropriate. Go one more. I'm healing cheese. I mean, again, sometimes I do feel bad about, like, the healing, but they heal. And then also, again, you know, in this, uh, in this particularly... In this particular setup and run, the odds are literally stacked against us. At least she used her healing items on Slugma. Yeah, she uses she only uses two hyper potions, I think. I believe so. Can I see that? This is this isn't showing me. But that that's about right. Is that they I thought they always have two other healing items. Alright, Sparky, do your thing. Thunder Wave! <gasps> and then we stay in. Yeah, that's it. Use up, use up the, uh, the White Herb. Now it's got it's got one more big. It's got yeah, there it is. Okay, and Pato eat the other overheat. Oh, we can fake. Oh, free fake out. <laughs> it's a little bit. Yeah, Torkoal going up against... Yeah, okay. 
Because Torkoal being paralyzed... Yeah. Would have stalled just a bit more. Possibly. So now we go Mossy and just start headbutting. It's gonna it's not gonna take a lot of damage from it because it's kinda bulky. Oh, we can leech seed. Dare I leech seed? Let me go for one headbutt. Yeah, not enough, but we gotta flinch. Dare I go for leech seed. It's one it's two down. It's two down on its overheat. I'm gonna do it. I don't think that... I think I still die to this overheat, though. Because it's only one... Ugh. I should... Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I should have I should have tried to get one more drop on that overheat. I think I have to. I think I have to just revive... I think I do have to revive... Mossy again. Just because anti-attract headbutt. Ooh. Oh. Alright, alright. And I think I just pursue. Because that's kind of the best I got. Let me s actually let me see what a Leaf Blade. Oh, no, wait. No, it's just done now. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. Doesn't matter. After this turn, you're done for. End of this turn, you're done. Oh, boy. Alright. See? <laughs> Told you I'd win. Uh, what, that was only two revives and two super potions? Three super potions, because I healed, uh... I healed Pato. Two revives, three super potions. It's not bad. I, I feel I feel like I wouldn't have had to have used a revive if if I would have just gotten the one shot on Slugma. I, I think I needed to be like one more level higher to get the one shot on Slugma. Cause then otherwise if I did that, then it still would have played out where we do fake outs with Pato, paralyze with Sparky, and then come in swinging with Mossy for headbutts. Damn, we did it. Yeah, let's go. He goes on using electric. Dun, 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 dun. Long time no see. Oh, while well, I visited the hot springs, uh, you got the lava, the the lava ridge gym badge. You must collect a good Pokemon. No, I believe you raised some. I guess it would be okay for you to have this. The go goggles. With those go goggles, you have no trouble getting through the desert near Route 111. But wow, Josh, challenging gyms. You're trying hard because you don't want to lose to me, I bet. <laughs> so I think that should challenge your dad in Pedalbird Gym. See you again. The headbutt was probably minimum roll on the damage count. Probably. Or unless, like, I don't know. Or do they just give more stats to the... D no, no, there's no way they put EVs in the... In the Gym Leader's Pokemon. Yeah, I guess that must have been it. It must have just been the low... Low damage roll. Alright, the time has come. The time has come. Onto the desert. Gulpin was a Gen 3 Pokemon. Maybe Evil Light Bill. 
Potentially. Wait, there's no EV light here. Oh, and the Mirage Tower is nowhere to be seen. There should be a tower made of sand around here somewhere. But for some reason it uh, can be seen sometimes and sometimes not. That's why I call it the Mirage Tower. Stardust. Yeah, green at least. Yeah, EV light was Gen 5. Yo, it's Ball Toy. I like Ball Toy. I think it's a neat Pokemon. No, wait. No, we don't need to fight you. Fight you. You're wild. You wild. But I'm gonna. I'm not gonna use a. I'm not gonna use a rappel because I want to find. I want to find a trap inch and a cacnea here. May comes in as like, <laughs> you don't like fire types, huh? <laughs> well, as soon as I catch, as soon as I catch them, there he is. As soon as I catch them, then I'll, I'll turn on the repel. Nope, that was too much. Never mind. I thought a little bit would be, uh, I thought a little bit would be fine, but I guess not. For 30 years I have searched for ancient ruins. Am I to be challenged? Are you challenging me? Dusty? Ruin Maniac Dusty? Dusty Go-Goat from... YouTube.com? Well, you can at least make a drain this. I have no idea about the Pixar games, just wanted to suggest the gulp in anyway. No. It would have been a temporary thing. Yeah, Trap, trap Inch is awesome Pokemon. Exactly. I'm gonna get it because it becomes green. And because I just really want to have a Flygon with me. Encounter Lost, gotta give up? No! Oh no! What if Gatorx were at the Pokemon anime? <laughs> I don't think anyone anything would get done. Although, you know, you think about it all the time. I really want to do more videos that are like things like that. Like, um, hey, here's my pitch for the thing. Again, you know, obviously inspired by. Uh, I, I almost said Lumio's trainer Zack, but <laughs> no more uh, Zack Toshi. Uh, you know, all the 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 anime rewrites he's done. So it's like though. Those are just cool ideas. It's got your first shiny, you're hyped right now. Nice, what shiny was it? It's gonna be bad nature. They're all gonna be that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I would like to honest, I honestly kinda wanna Try to do some shiny hunting. Obviously, it'd be a you know it'd be a whole thing. It'd be like a, you know a video, right? I learned shiny hunting. You know, one of those like uh, I learned shiny hunt. I wait, no, I really we didn't get the double battle. The stupid hiker turned around. The hi <laughs> why did he turn around? Uh, yeah, so I'd probably want to do something like that, where it's like, I learned shiny hunting, um, and then that's the video. <laughs> or I tried to learn shiny hunting, it went, you know, and then however else you, you know, make the title. <laughs> do you know I have a YouTube channel as well? Me? Hey fam. What's poppin'? I play. I am playing on a Retron Square, a console on a wet Retron Square. So it is technically emulation, but it's saving to the cartridge. What we give to Shiny Hunt to Trap Inch? No, in this in this game, because then it'd be like much lower odds. 
I don't know if I would want to, well, again, if, if I do get into shiny hunting and potentially making shiny hunting videos, I think I am going to have to try some older gen stuff. I mean, it would be easiest in, you know, than modern games because, uh, you know, all the quality of life stuff <laughs> for, for shiny hunting and modern games. That would be the video, though. The video would be like, I tried shiny, shiny hunting, it went, or it went terribly or weird or something like that. And then it would be in Scarlet and Violet, where I, where I try. This is just a big, uh, this is kind of a big, not a big detour, but I'm like, oh yeah, we got a lot of trainers to get through in here, and we haven't even caught any of the Pokemon we came here to get. Can Freed from Pokemon Horizons beat Sword? We gotta do some of that. It's like my own, uh, my own idea for, uh, what do you call it? My own idea for Ash's team in a game. I don't think there's an, or I think there's an item down here, right? Give me the... That's not it. Give me the cactus. Give me the ant. Yeah, shiny hunting Scarlet Violet can take a couple hours for a couple hours for a rare encounter. Gen three could take weeks. <laughs> yep, that's how it be. But it's more fun too. It's it's fun to try it out in different games. There is it. All right, this time you're coming with me. Uh, Mock Punch knocked it out last time, huh? I guess we just fake out a nature power. Actually, what would nature power be here? Fake out and, uh... Actually, I think Nature Power would be, like, Magnitude here. I think we Rock Smash. Okay. Looks pretty good. See, you know, this Trap Inch would have come in really handy, too. Against Flannery, especially this one specifically being a female one. To be immune to, uh... <laughs> to be immune to the Attract. There we go. Trap Inch acquired. And then I want to grab a Cacnea also. Uh... I'm gonna call her Echo. I'll give you some of my sandwich if you'll lose. Dude is trying to bribe me. And you know, I'm realizing too that's gonna be really helpful against <laughs> against these dang flying types. Nice. Yeah, Flygon Gang. Yeah, Mossy would destroy Norman's gym, that's true. Which is why I'm glad I'm keeping it around. So yeah. Throw out the mock punches against everyone. The orange boy. Listen. Trap Inch isn't going to be orange for long. So if I understand correctly, you only use the pre-evolution that are green and become another color temporary. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for Golpin's suggestion. 
I, I mean, it's there are no rules anyway. We're just being funny. I, I'm just playing Pokemon Emerald just cause, and then along the way, I'm just I just happen to be using a bunch of funny green Pokemon. That's the gym leader of the Bug Gym sister in Kalos. You mean uh, Viola? But also because you know Trap Inch will become green, and you can't because you can't catch Vibrava anywhere, and we just really want to have a flag on. If anything does Grass type run, just turn into Can I beat Emerald as Green Pokemon? Because <laughs> it's funny. It, it's it's funny to be like, uh, oh, is this a challenge run or is this like, oh, what are you doing, Green? What kind of Pokemon are you using, Green? That's the meme. The meme is green. Green. Theme fair, always do theme runs. Yeah, I, I mean, again, I don't I don't think I'd count this as a themed run. But, um... Yeah, I don't think I would count it as a themed run. It is literally just, like, I want to use, uh... I want to use... I, I want to play Emerald, and I'm just using Pokemon that I like and... Or a Pokemon that I wanted to use. I'm actually gonna take this and give it to Echo right away. Now that I realized. Because unfortunately Sparky will not be staying. Gulpin is valid, it is. Oh, who's Viola's sister? Um, what was her name? I'm ooh, I cannot remember that off the top of my head. But she was in the anime. In the Gen 5 anime. And she has a Helioptile. What was her name? Dang it. I don't want to, like, go look it up right now, though. I was going to say it's a... I was going to say it's a normal name, but, like... <laughs> basically. Oh, sweet. A miss. Swing and a miss. What? Because oh, I'm getting sand attack. No, wait, this is a trainer battle. Well, I'm out of uh, Mega Drains anyway. Man, am I even going to get to normal at this rate? I'm going to stay in the desert. Yeah, I'm going to stay in the desert to... Uh... Yeah, because, you know, just eat up all the experience. Even though Norman's Pokemon are not all that highly leveled, and, um... And on top of that, we'll have all the trainers to battle in the gym, also. What level does, uh... What level does Grovile evolve into Sceptile? Grovile. Grovile evolves at level... At level 36. Okay. Yep, so kind of the standard one here. Yeah, 36. Okay, great, great. Witness. No fossils to be found. Oh wait, those Gogol will see you, but I think they look better on me. What? This dude. This guy. Yeah, I need that XP share on Trap Inch. Exactly. <laughs> we gotta get the Bravo quick. Actually, I think, uh... I think Trap Inch evolves relatively quickly. You know, for, you know, for, um... How late in the game you get it, or the level that you get it at. Oh, oh, it evolves at level 35, okay. So once it catches up with the rest of the team, it shouldn't be too long. Yeah, it it, it's pretty...
close to. It evolves at into Vibrava at level 35, and then only at level 45, it evolves into Flygon. Yeah, let me move uh, Verde up front. Wearing these Go Goggles makes me feel like a superhero. Right now, nobody can beat me. <laughs> Good old days, let's go. Sorry, Yugi. Your attack didn't affect me because you activated my Trap Inch card. Oh, the Trap Inch nature? Oh yeah, let's check that. I don't think anybody in the team had, like, you know, real, real good natures. I'll check it after this battle. That's a good idea. It's a good idea to check that. Oh, I also want to grab a Cacnea while I'm here. And, uh, and then the next main Pokemon I want to catch is, uh, Tropius. Right after we, uh, right after we get Surf. Yeah, yeah, let's go, Echo. What? Is my brother sending me memes? <laughs> what? The heck? Alright. We should be pretty good. And I think that'll end up being... How, how, does, how does that feel? Sceptile? Sceptile, Breloom... Probably Swamp Pato. Sceptile, Breloom... Flygon, Cacturn, and Tropius. Okay, let me see. Lonely. What is lonely? Lonely is... Oh, boy. No, it doesn't tell you in this game. What does... Which one is lonely? That's not a neutral one, is it? No, I feel like that's... uh. Okay, here we go. Lonely, lonely is... Oh, minus defense plus attack? Okay. That's actually not terrible. For Trap Inch. Uh, Timid on Pato is actually pretty good. Lax? Lax is... Is minus... Def minus special defense plus defense. Uh, not terrible. <laughs> And then relaxed. Relaxed was uh, minus speed plus defense. That one's actually kind of bad for <laughs> for Sceptile. So it's really only Sceptile that has the not good one. Yeah, but we didn't get any very good. <laughs> didn't get any very good rolls. That's for sure. Is that all the trainers here actually? Okay. Let's grab that, uh, Cacnea and get out of here. Yeah, yeah, attack. Yeah, Lonely Attack Plus. Yeah, I, I failed to mention that, like, I I had, like, a web page open, so I was looking at all the... <laughs> so I had a chart open so I could, uh, you know, tell what they are. Come on, where's the Cacnea? I didn't see one. Not a single one here. Come on, give me the funny cactus. That's not it. But even still, I think so far Verde has just been faster than anything <laughs> anyway. Because it's already got a decent, you know, base speed and then nothing... And it's been, you know, at least levels above. Oh, Dragon is special in Gen 3? No, that's right. So Earthquake. <laughs> uh, so Earthquake and Rock Slide. 
at, at least it's, um, I, I guess at least the nature doesn't, you know, subtract special. So there's that at least. I mean, we'll still have Dragon, we'll have Dragon Claw in the back pocket. That sounds like Ader needs to do VGC to brush up on the natures. <laughs> I do. Also, I'm just automatically knocking out every trap inch I see. Because uh, I don't want to, I don't want to find out, you know, that it has arena trap. <laughs> Didn't get notified at all. Oh no. Well, that, ha howdy. Happy Friday. Where's the cat? Don't tell me like they changed the encounters in uh in Emerald so Cacnea is just not here. And does Sandshu potentially have Arena Trap too? No, I don't think. Okay. This is uh this is Route 110, right? You know, honestly, it'd be cool to do a, like, just play through this and use only the desert Pokemon. Full team, desert only. Actually, no, this is Route 111. Why was I, what was I thinking otherwise? This is po Route 111. Route 111... Let's see... Yeah, the desert, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking up, like... Just to make sure that, uh... Cacnea is actually here. That would make no sense, though, if it was, like, taken out. Gen 3. Oh! They lowered its... It Oh, it is still here, but they lowered its encounter rate to 6%. Yeah, and there's a shiny trap inch. If I did, I'd catch it, and that'd be the new one. <laughs> the music spang and true. Yeah, wow. Yeah, for some just for some reason in Emerald, they lowered both Cacnea and Baltoy's uh, encounter rate to six percent on this in the deep sand. Meanwhile, Sandshrew and Trap Inch are are still thirty five percent. But it's just randomly Cacnea and Baltoy they made rarer here. What the heck? But we run into more Baltoy. But no Cacnea. Dude, come on. I don't want to be here all day. <laughs> Game Freak. Game Freak, por qué? Why'd you do this to me? I don't get why. I mean, yeah, because Cacnea was 20% in Ruby Sapphire. But for Emerald, they're just like, nah. Nah. Sandra is posing like that meme of the dog doing the peace hand. <laughs> True. I like, I like Sandra's pose in this game. It's pretty funny. Trap Inch is Arena Trap by default, really. So, so, so... Just every time I've decided to run, it just happens to not be Arena Trap. Uh, the other one is it gets his like Hyper Cutter, right? It gets Arena Trap and Hyper Cutter. Look, see how Ball Toy is the same. Oh no, never mind. Ball Toy is twenty four percent. No, they ink. No, what the heck? I read that wrong. They increased Ball Toy's uh, Ball Toy's encounter rate in this game. Okay, because in Ruby Sapphire, Ball Toy was ten percent. Now it's twenty four. But it's still Cacnea is the rarest thing here. I remember thinking that Sanchu was a Gen 3 Pokemon. True. Just because, you know, how things are sometimes with this. 
All right, Olive, help us out here. Or not. Uh, I think I mentioned that, like, Slugma was one of those Pokemon that, like, I feel, I felt, or I just thought was, like, Gen 3, where it had the Gen 3 energy because of, uh, how it's in the, oh, what is it, the Jagged Pass here? That and Skarmory. Because you can find it so early on here. Oh gosh, how long have I been here? It feels very long because of like how normally, how normally pretty quickly we're moving along. Come on, dude, I just want a funny cactus. Nope. Gator, would you rather fight? Knuckles without grapes, or Ash Pokemon taking revenge on Ash for sending him to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't want to fight Pokemon. We're gonna have the Cacnea grind set <laughs> to obtain the Hiker grind set. <laughs> no. Oh no. But uh, hang on. No, no, Cacnea is a better percent chance. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, 6% chance is better than a uh, 1 in 64. I mean, we're we're chilling, we're chatting, we're goofing and gaffing. Won't be long. All right. I'm going to say 5 more minutes. I'm going to give myself 5 more minutes. Then otherwise then we uh maybe I just trade myself off stream <laughs> from Sapphire version where there's a better chance. Baltoy and Clator are interesting Pokemon. Are they man-made or do they uh, predate tools that inspires these pottery? I gotta look up the Pokedex entries for them. Because I feel like they are... No, I don't think they're man-made. I don't remember if there's a Pokedex entry saying that. Yeah, 6% is about a 1 in 18 shot. Okay. See, that's not terrible. But I've had way more than... 18 encounters, that's for sure. Because I haven't used a repel at all while being here. Shoutouts to Ash and Iris being the only humans to fight Pokemon. Ash punching Mewtwo. Attempting to punch Mewtwo right in the face. Absolute classic. Top 10 classic moments. Hello there, hey. Hello there. Oh dude, I didn't watch this week's uh, Bad Batch episode, I gotta watch it tonight. Alright, here's a question to make it go faster. Who do you think will win out of fight, Muppets or Sesame Street? And Muppets by far. The Muppets are unhinged. Even, I guess, well, you know, I guess, what, technically aren't like, uh... Muppets and uh, Sesame Street, same, same thing, kinda. But if you mean like the cast of Sesame Street versus the cast of the, the Muppet Show, yeah, definitely Muppets. They're unhinged. I mean, what? Who? What? Who? Do, who does uh, Sesame Street have? They got, I mean, they got Snuffy. They got Big Bird. Those are their heavy hitters. Uh, meanwhile, Muppets has. Gonzo alone. Gonzo alone is uh, is killing more. He's taking more bodies. General Kenobi. The Muppet. My favorite. Who's your favorite Muppet? Who who is everyone's favorite Muppet? My favorite Muppet is uh. My favorite Muppet is Yoda. I will not be debating. I will not be debating this. This is real and true. This is fact checked by real American patriots. 
Yoda is a Muppet. He counts as a Muppet, official Muppet. Sesame Street has more self-contained. All the Muppets have been everywhere. Who's Snuffy? What, the big, uh, the big mammoth, right? The Snuffleupagus? How is this actually possible? How is this actually possible to not see a single Cacnea the whole time? I... I cannot comprehend this. I cannot... It's statistically imp I mean, it's possible, but like... It is just not... Yeah, even at 6% is... There should have been... There should have been... At least one, right? I, I feel insulted. I feel offended. Like, it's to the point where I literally had to go and check to make sure that, like, they just didn't remove it from the area. And this is the only area you catch Cacnea. I want a Cacnea. It's, I said it would be five minutes, and it's already been the five minutes, because I thought, like... Because, what, how many encounters am I getting? Like, per minute? Like, just one. <sighs> Star Wars fan, by the way, get new Pokemon. Oh, new to Pokemon, I've been playing for three weeks. Beaten all, all Gen 3 games so far. Start playing Platinum yesterday. Nice. Oh yeah, there's the Arena Trap. See, Pokemon is cool. You got a bunch of funny, the funny scrunkos. I, you know, with Star Wars Day being, you know, a little more than a month away. See, okay, I'm really happy that one year I was able to make a Star Wars and Pokemon video, like one that like relates to both. But I feel like that was probably the only, the only connection they have. Um, the video that I made. I'm really glad I made it, but I still feel like, man, I really wish there was more, <laughs> there was more to do. More funny connections you can make between Star Wars and Pokemon for more videos. Which, by the way, it was, uh, it was about... Palkia's anime cry from the uh, from the anime from the Dark Ride movie, which you know, it, I mean, I'm sure people know, but like it, it's the same. Uh, Palkia's cry is just about the same as uh, the Veracto cry from uh, Revenge of the Sith. So I'm like, yeah, cool. Now. Uh, Maybe, I, I might be able to come up with something this year. I just don't get it. This is gonna, this, this is already too much of the stream. And look, I'm out of, okay, good, it didn't have. This, this is already, like, way too much of the stream to be, to have been here. And I don't want to say, like, oh, I'll just catch one off stream. Because then, like, who knows how long that's going to take on my own time. <laughs> the dumb scrunkos. Oh, look, I don't even... Oh, no, I have headbutt. Would have actually got Ultra Instinct on Rocco years ago. <laughs> got two shinies today. We didn't even try shiny. Got a shiny bronze or shiny gibble. Ooh, nice. I always think those are cool ones. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Bless
like the idea of Pokemon developing the war, because they could have Pokemon Stormtroopers. <laughs> True. Let's go. Attack of the Clones, and it's all Mewtwo. Yeah, Star Wars Pokemon. Uh, Star Wars characters were Pokemon. I can be weak to ground type. Only one be the ground type. <laughs> and Palpatine Dark Electric. You know. You know, I think, um, what was I going to say? You know, I don't know if, uh, like, the old the old kind of videos where it's like, oh, what if these characters from this other franchise had, uh, had Pokemon? I almost kind of want to just, like, revive that. It's like, let's, let's bring back the classic Pokemon YouTube content. <laughs> and just do that. What if Star Wars characters had Pokemon teams? You know, in all honesty, at the very, very least, I think that could be a good series of uh, YouTube shorts. Because with YouTube shorts, at least, you can do, like, fun, weird things that, like, you know, you don't have to worry about, I guess. At this point, lean into the bit <laughs> and make this the Cacnea Gauntlet. <laughs> you know? It's not wrong. I wish I had a fancy text to, uh, to have here. Dun, dun. I don't understand how this is taking... I mean, I'm getting mad at numbers. I'm getting mad at numbers. I feel like now it's just... I... But I don't want to leave. Because we've got the... What, what's the, uh... What's the phrase? The whole thing, the the meme of the guy who stops digging right before he reaches the diamonds. <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna feel like. Yeah, I mean, you know what they say, right? Ninety percent of gamblers. <laughs> Quit before right before they win big. <laughs> How the heck do you spell gauntlet? Okay, good. Okay, good. It is a first. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm actually get. I'm, I'm. The longer I'm here, the angrier I get, and the more motivated I am to uh <laughs> to stay. Here we go. There. <laughs> Go on, and then left. But don't dig too far, you'll hit the electrical pipe and get electrocuted. <laughs> Save and soft reset. I could, but I don't want to... I want to turn this thing off, because it takes a while to boot back up. Imagine we found Cacne and it was a shiny. It makes it orange. <laughs> no. The odds of that happening, though. I mean, I would feel confident because because <laughs> those would be even lower odds, and we're already like. We're already we're already <laughs> just not hitting it. Near Gauntlet, let's go. No. 
Okay. I'm gonna need more... I'm gonna need more PP if I keep running into Trap Inch. Daily Con Solo would be blue and Professor Oak would be Palpatine. Always felt star uh, Professor Oak had some evil in them. <laughs> Does it count as a gauntlet if there's no- if there have been zero Cacnea? <laughs> Don't know, did you catch shiny Cacnea? No. <laughs> It would, it would simply not happen. The longer I stay here, the... The longer I stay here, the worse it's gonna feel if I just decide to give up at some point. Yeah, sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> oh, no. No. I mean... It's true, but... It is just sunk cost fallacy. I feel like this could just be a whole separate stream of <laughs> trying to find Cacnea in, in Pokemon Emerald because I'm a... <laughs> because I'm insane. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh, there it is! Oh, there it is! Oh! Oh! Oh, there it is! Oh, finally. <laughs> finally. Finally. <laughs> Hang on, I should have... I should have had this. I should have had this done. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, I gotta cut this now, actually. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Let's go. <laughs> now don't faint it. Don't mess up. Imagine it running. No, 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 no. Oh no. I was about to throw out a mock punch, but that's not that's not the play. Cacnea used to explode. <laughs> no. Imagine it. That'd be terrible if it got explode. Here. I'll move him like that. Fake out. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say, oh, it probably has like sand... Sand something. Sand veil. If it doesn't take damage from the, uh... It doesn't take damage from the sandstorm. Oh, my whole team. Never seen so much real time effort in the stream. I gotta make it better. I, I, I would like, I mean, obviously, you know, on my actual computer screen, I'm like, you know, opening up another tab to like, rush and try to, you know, rush and try to get, you know, save the image off of Google Images. Come on, I need to get it to yellow. Name it after a Muppet? No. <laughs> well, it, it'll be a Cacturn. It'll be a Cacturn after it evolves. Alright. So it'll be... Is, is there like a scare... No, don't absorb back! Okay, it's still yellow. There's... There's not like a cool, uh... Cool scarecrow, is there? Why are scarecrows just always called scarecrow? No, I got it. We'll, we'll name it Grievous. We'll we're gonna, I'm gonna name it Grievous. I already chose, I already chose the name. Hmm. 
me do one more absorb. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm wondering how... I'm just, I'm just imagining, like, people popping in and like, Oh, look, Gator Extreme, and they see this. <laughs> they see all this going on. Oh, Spud from Bob the Builder. That's right, Greenvus. <laughs> There you go. There we go. We need a cacturn with four arms. Cacnea live in deserts with virtually no rainfall. It battles by swinging its thick spiked claw or arms. Once a year, a yellow flower blooms. Yeah. Let me double check. I, I believe... I believe it's... Grievous. Like that. Ah, General Kenobi! This Pokemon will make a nice collection addition to my collection. Alright, I'm saving. I'm saving. <laughs> I'm saving. <laughs> there we go, we hit it. We won big. We struck diamonds. I struck diamonds. He named it Agron Grievous. Nice. It's like finding a shiny. <laughs> so I, again, it's o it's only six percent. I mean, not only, but like it's it's a whopping six percent compared to how many hours was that? That was uh, that was definitely quite a few minutes. Definitely quite a few minutes. <laughs> no glitch witch. Gotta form your fingers into a cross to keep the glitch witch away. <laughs> Alright, Olive. Thank you for being here with us. I should have hit move, Pokemon. Thank you, Olive. It's time for Grievous now. I uh, now Grievous has still got to gain some levels. Alright. You mean you struck emeralds? Let's go! That's right! <laughs> Dang it. I need, to, I need to just grab that meme of the guy with the diamonds and then remake it with a... Just remake it with... It was 45 minutes? Oh my gosh. I, I would apologize, but I mean... I still walked away with a cacnea, so... <laughs> um, yeah, we gotta go through Verdant Turf. Oh, wait, um... Let me go down Cycling Road and just beat up everybody there. And we'll go around and uh, take the boat right to Petalburg. <laughs> yeah, because that, yeah, that'll bring us right to Petalburg City. And plus, get some more trainer battles in. <laughs> oh boy. You had a Soul Rock as your strongest Pokemon. In the name of the Death Star? No, oh, that's so good. That's so good. You know, I actually really like Soul Rock and Lunatone. I always loved how in the trading card game they would go together. I kind of wish they were like uh, that, that they could do a little more. Again, in the, in the TCG, sometimes they uh, they'd be funny things, like funny little strategies. The ones from, like, uh, the Pokemon Go set were a decent, were, like, a decent little, uh, would you say rogue deck for a while? Oh, which, by the way, I think, um, I, I wanna, I wanna stream some more Pokemon TCG <laughs> soon, because I've been playing a lot more. I've been playing, uh, Wugtrio Mill lately. Um, and then actually, yeah, since we just got, uh, Temporal Forces, there's a new Battle Pass, so... Uh, I think I'll, I'll, I, I want to try and stream some of that. But the thing is, like, now that Temporal Forces is out, the Wugtrio Mill is kind of outclassed by a uh, Great Tusk Mill. Uh, but on the upside, hey, we can play Great Tusk. I just gotta, uh, I just gotta build it. And I got some code cards now that I'll actually need to pop in. 
Crash and burn. Love Solrock because uh, he uses many types. Wait, okay, you love Solrock because he uses many types to give him a Shadow Ball and Rock Slide and Overheat and Psychic. That's true, it does get access to all that. Alright, what about you all? Who, everyone else? Are you, uh... Are you team... Are you Solrock? Are you, are you team Solrock or team Lunatone? Me? I think... I think I'm Solrock. I go... I rock with Solrock. Keep chugging without stressing. You know, I realize too we could like rematch quite a few trainers <laughs> along the way for more experience. Meanwhile, ground Granny's down there. Sora can also use Surf. What? Maybe Sora? Why not? Well, Lunatone looks cool. Yeah, yeah. I like them both. I, I love how they literally are just sun and moon. Is this a Nuzlocke? No, no. This is a uh, this is the Cacnea, the Cacnea Gauntlet. This is green. Welcome to green. Lunatone's valuable in Pokemon Go because it was only available at night and therefore rarer. So folks, we shine a Lunatone on royalty. <laughs> Nice. Oh man, you got the... Got the level 6 one. You have two shiny soul rock, but no luck with the moon. I would like to... Oh, you know, while I was out last week, I was just out at the store. And, uh, it happened to be the Litten Day on Pokemon Go. So I'm like, oh, you know what, let me just open up my phone and just, like, catch some Pokemon. <laughs> And just catch some Pokemon while I'm, uh, while I'm here, while I'm by a, you know, a Pokestop in public. And, uh, so I got two Shiny Litten, because I did not play it for long. But I just, I just like the idea of, like, I, I really do need to get more into it. But I like the idea of, like, just generally, like, oh, when I remember, I can just open it up and catch some funny Pokemon. And if it's, like, it happens to be, a you know, a community day, I can get some Shinies that I can transfer to the Switch. Our has more truth. Oh no, we're uh, <laughs> no, no. I I'm just, I'm just playing Pokemon Emerald, just for fun, and I just happen to be using a bunch of green Pokemon because, because all the Pokemon I wanted to use in this run were green. So now it is, it is a green only <laughs> run technically. You just started playing again too. Nice. Yeah, just because you know, I, I, I want to go through some of the older Pokemon games. Because, uh, again, yeah, legitimately, I have only played Emerald once in my entire life before this. And that was a long time ago. I don't like this guy. He's like... Number of collisions! Can you get zero collisions? So truth, yeah. Ah, slate port. Oh, dang it, I forgot to make that other funny tweet I had in my drafts. I was gonna say, a uh, 97 year old, uh, Sea Shore House <laughs> still makes soda pop the old fashioned way. <laughs> uh, okay. Yo, Briny. Let's go. Oh, you only got two shiny Pokemon like in the same day. The shiny starters, they're ultra dupe. I don't know necessarily then. Oh, congrats on the shinies. Had worked that day, but got a high IV Torakai. Could evolve. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, if you evolve your starter during the community day, they get the blast burn. Yes. Oh, so, so you already had the Torakai ready. Nice. Dun -dun -dun. All right, let's go resolve the daddy issues. Dun, 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 dun. 
Yo, Briny. Briny boy. Oh, come on. Yeah, the D-pad on this controller is just not very good at, like, at being super quick. I wonder if they make, like, other ones that just work better on it. Yeah, Pokemon Go really needs hyper training. Give us the bottle caps. Okay. So, yeah, I think we just do that. We just leave with Mossy. Gain experience, and then Echo and Grievous will catch up eventually. Oh, well, let, let's at least battle all the, uh, the trainers in there. Actually, I am going to take a quick break. Um, just a really quick, like... Just, just a really quick... Just a really quick pit stop. So, uh, I will... Uh, BRB, let me... Let me pull up music again. <laughs> just so that the, the Be Right Back screen is not completely... It's not completely, uh... Void. All right, hang on. I will be right back. Alrighty. Alright. Alright, we're back. We're back in action. Call me a Looney Tune, because I'm back in action. And then switch back to here we go. Y'all have a good you'll have a good water break. Drink some water. Drink some of the fish water. Alright, I am gonna purposely just go through every single room, <laughs> just to battle everyone. The team in Pokemon Emerald was, uh, was the best team you had to cause the Salamence, Metal Gross, Latios, Solrock, Gyarados, ooh. Would like to have all those. Uh, oh sweet, cool, a flying type. <laughs> That's faster than me, yep. What am I gonna do with this? Mock Punch is all oh, great. I don't think I, I gotta be honest. I don't think I was knocking out with the Mock Punch anyway. All 
Actually, maybe I should have quick attack. Well, one pursuit and then we'll quick attack again. First Pokemon and it's already kind of, already kind of washing me. Oh my. Well, I mean, it's not like I could have seen that coming. I didn't, uh, I didn't have anything that, for it. It's a big swallow. Um. Uh, <laughs> yikes. Man, and that quick attack still. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright. <gasps> alright, so. <laughs> Step right in. Full confidence. <laughs> Almost get wa- oh gosh, what are we gonna- Well no, by the time we get to Winona- By the time we get to Winona, we should be in better shape, actually. We should be pretty good by that time, I think. know how how on earth you beat the high level raids yeah I don't I don't do any of the big raids in Pokemon go because I'm like yeah they take a lot I'm just like let me just catch the funny little guys I mean it, it like I said that basically is just all I do I just hop on uh, whenever I remember to on a community day and and just uh, get some shinies Yeah, community answer built for shiny hunter since the only they only spawned in one Pokemon. Exactly. Does every trainer here have a hyper potion? Actually, I think I think that's the ticket. We just headbutt into mock punch. Good, good. What we want. Need some levels on, on Echo. Ba -da -da -ba -da. I forget how many rooms there are in this. I don't think it's too much. Yeah, I think really you only like need to need to battle two trainers for each room. Oh, there's special research you can do right now. Uh, for Giovanni and catch a rare Shadow Groudon. Ooh. Uh huh. That's a big berry. Get the ground. Huh. I will consider that. You know, it's good when I'm working a lot. Like, working a lot on, you know, location. So that, um, so that that way I'm like, you know, actually out and near Pokestops, potentially. Like, a, you know, quite a few days in a row, then I can easily just kind of, not check out, but like, you know, sometimes it's like, well, this doesn't really need all my attention right now. And no one's really supervising me, right? <laughs> I'm the one supervising, so let me go ahead and, uh, just open Pokemon Go really quick. <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah, with only one Pokemon each of these, we're just kind of... Did we do... that's the... okay, now we want to go to the edge here. Oh, if you finish it tomorrow, there's a high chance of it being shiny. Ooh. You should be able to install a PC in secret base. That would be a good idea. Because, I mean, yeah, you already have the, uh, you already have the little computer there anyway, huh? 
Yeah, especially because, yeah, if you're setting things up and you're like, okay, cool, I want to get my, um, I want to get my secret base all here and going and everything. And then, you know, if you're about to, like, um, mix records with a friend to get your secret base over there. The strength room. Wait, what? She said our gym leader told us to go all out on you? <laughs> what? I thought Zangoose was pretty neat. Do that. Do a whole run of j only, only using one Zangoose and one Seviper. <laughs> yeah, see the dang. I wish secret bases could. I'll be made in the hubs and set up a bunch of stuff. It would be. That would be a good idea because, like, you know, I, I like the idea of just that basically being a little home. what we gotta do on, th on this save uh, I'm probably gonna end up also like you know maxing everything out once I you know once I beat the game gym leader's room did I I think I'm still need like something here I'm not gonna take it easy just cause you're leader's kid now, I feel like all the trainers are just don't like you here. Yeah, Zangus has purple claws in the sprite. Yo, it's bigger off. I really like bigger off. I wish that you could just have bigger off just like that <laughs> completely without having to <laughs> go into slacking. I mean, you know, I think back to like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Because with those games, my friends and I would just like basically do a bunch of free-for-alls every week, <laughs> like all the time. So, uh, when Oras came out, that was the fun thing, because it's like, oh, we can make a bunch of, we can get a bunch of funny Pokemon now and get them all ready for, <laughs> for free-for-all battles. And I had, I had a bigger off that was like pretty, uh, that went pretty hard. Okay, I think we got everybody. Oh, that was the one-hit KO room? So called. Uh, I don't even know if I want to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> I think I can just heal and be good. Okay, he... What Pokemon does he have? <laughs> um, Norman has... Norman has a Spinda, a Vigoroth, a Linoon, and a Slacking. The Slacking does have Counter. Uh, I'm gonna just save, why not? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Zaddy. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yo, I've... Gym leader music goes hard. Feel free to screenshot. Alright, we're gonna mock punch. Best believe. Yep, easy out. Vigora. I feel like they kind of nerfed his team a bit. Because didn't he have like two slacking? We headbutt. Oh, I'm not faster. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Vigoroth is pretty. It's pretty up there. Oh, and a crit on that. Now we mock punch. No healing. Okay. Linoon. I know the Linoon has Belly Drum. 
I think he goes for it first turn. Ooh. Whiff. Nope. Right in the head, but... Yeah, he heals. Okay. Yeah, we do got Leech Seed for the slacking. That is true. That's true. Because we got to do we got to do some kind of shenanigans with it. Because it has Yawn Counter. Oh yeah, they did. Oh no, it has Yawn Counter. Still has Facade. <laughs> Want you to screenshot music? Yeah, let's go. Yawn, turn one. I feel like it would. I'm gonna take this it... I'm gonna Leech Seed. Oh, Facade right off of that. I think that... No, I should've healed. Yep. Yeah, I should've swapped. Dang it. Yeah, I wanted to go for that Leech Seed. Dang it. Okay, I might go for the free leaf blade. You already used two potions though. It has, yeah, it has a counter. How does counter work here? Does it really go for physical? Or does it like, ones that make contact? I'm gonna do one more leaf blade and just see where it gets us. That's a big facade. It has Citrus Berry. So we're gonna trigger it now. Oh! Okay! Alright! Okay! Don't underestimate the Sand Tomb. Or not Sand. Don't underestimate the, the Crit. The Crit Goyet. Doesn't Leaf Blade, like, just straight up have, like, a high crit ratio anyway? <laughs> nice. Yo! Verde coming in clutch. Oh, he walks right in. Ah, oh, there you are, Josh. Please come with me, I have something I want you to have. Normie, you don't mind, do you? Let me borrow Josh for a minute or two. Oh, the overgrow? Oh, yeah. Josh, please excuse us for dragging you this way, but our Wally's become uh, very healthy since you went to Vern Turf. We owe this all to you. When Wally left town, you helped him catch a Pokemon, right? I think that made Wally really happy. Actually, not just Wally, it made me and his father happy too. Happy that he's gained such a great friend as you. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I'd really like you to have this. It isn't a bribe or anything? If your Pokemon can surf, you'll be able to uh, go to all sorts of places. Nice. Whew. Yeah, let me check. Because I feel like it is just... Yeah, yeah, Leaf Blade Crit. Oh. Yeah, and that was Overgrow. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Actually amazing. Yeah, while he's at is I was like, can I borrow your son? Here's an HM new son. <laughs> Wally. Alright. Is it okay? Wow, it's not a. Uh... Oh, we made good time. Now actually. We have we have the chance to go and head right to uh head right to Four Tree City. Actually some of these guys want rematches, right? 
Or do you have to call them first to like set up a rematch? I forget how it works in this game. Doesn't matter, we're gonna... We're gonna surf. Oh yeah, we didn't teach anyone surf yet. The way it should be. Finally, after all this time, the water move. Uh, honestly, I think we just ditch absorb for now. <laughs> I forgot. Forgot about the dang Tentacruel. Oh, I gotta clear out my bag too when I get a chance. Do I have repels? I don't even have any repels. The man kept surf safe after Empush finally banned its use to the mainland. <laughs> Flannery was the Fire Lord. We had to defeat her. Okay, let us... Oh, these are only level 15. What? Hang on, you can only reach these NPCs after you surf. But they're still only level 15 anyway. Okay. Beautifully done match call setting works with whoever has a Pokeball next to it in their name. Oh, okay, that's right, that's right, yeah. And really, Lightning Rod speeds up the call process. Following round matches as well, really? Interesting. Isn't there, like, a cave here that opens up at some, like, for something? Or am I mistaken? Or am I misremembering something? The point is... It's time to depart from Mauville. Dun 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 There. Oh, great. Stop! No! No! No. I almost got caught. Who would win? Avatar, Korra, or Kira with prep time? <laughs> I don't think Kira wins anything. I mean, protagonist power sometimes. Oh, look. There's Watson. Actually, did they did they change up? I don't think Ma see Mauville's different in in Emerald. Oh, that's right. I was gonna offload some items. I think starting with that nugget. And I think I have a start. Oh, I have to restart us. Cool. And nugget. Um. Do I want to keep any of the battle items? I don't think I want to. Necessarily. If I need more, I'll buy some later. Because I just want to free up my... I want to free up my bag space. Okay. And then I should deposit some in the PZ also. Da, 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 uh, Everstone, don't need that. Pause in a mail. Uh, Moonstone, and we'll use everything else. Actually, let me. Let me just use up that some of that uh you got a HP up. 
Who should get more HP? I don't think anyone really. Honestly, maybe I save it for Tropius. Since that'll be like the bigger thing. Let me swap my bike off so we can reach some of the other places in on the route. One of the coolest routes in the game. It, you know, it always felt a lot bigger, but I think more recently when I've been there, it didn't feel all that, you know, big. Oh, there's our friends again. <laughs> their context dependent. <laughs> yeah, I really do like these trainers. Like, you know, how their Pokemon actually <laughs> progress. And you could just basically just battle them infinitely. <laughs> as long as you go to all the different routes. I do wish that their levels would have, like, capped out a little higher, though. I don't think I'm going to get to battle Winona today. Oh gosh, she's got a big team. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get to battle Winona today, but... <laughs> um, but I think we're definitely reaching Fortree City. Oh yeah, because we still got to do the thing at the Weather Institute. The quest over there. Ooh, and actually, I think Verde could evolve by the end of the stream. <laughs> Don't forget to watch yourself on TV. Well, I gotta give an interview first. Sure. Oh, you can only say one word. Um... Stacy's mom. Yeah, I think what I want is I want Verde to be in the front to hurry and evolve. Oh, oh, he's just giving us a good rod. Uh, cause otherwise, yo, gosh, yeah, might be a bit difficult against. Uh, we're gonna have quite a time against Winona. I think I am going to grab a Kecleon at some point on this route. Uh, I think the big thing is going to is gonna be to get uh, Trap Inch to evolve. And try, you know, try to get, uh, try to get Vibrava going by the time we get there. Level-wise, I think we're going to be pretty good. Because uh, I think our high level Pokemon are going to outpace her pretty quickly. Oh, there's a guy in Mavo who will do one of six fun games with you and record them for TV. If he makes records with another game, you can swap the guys with each other. Okay. Yeah, I, I gotta like look more into like the record swapping thing. And again, I think that's I, I gotta honestly try and convince. So that's what we gotta do. Oh, Steven. Hi, Josh. It's me, Steven. And Steven <laughs> met the game in Duford. And the Pokemon says, "I saw you." Many, many kinds of Pokemon. One world, one raise. Only your favorites. That's fine. Perhaps you find it more fun to raise all sorts of Pokemon. So, trainer Pokemon, what do you think? Of course, not uh, any of my business. It'd be nice if uh, we were to meet again sometime. Uh, yeah, that's what that's what I was saying. Um, we gotta get. We need to get every every other Poketuber has just gotta play. Got, just gotta get a file of Pokemon Emerald or Ruby or Sapphire. Play through the whole thing, max everything out, and then when we and then meet up in uh, IRL and uh, and then mix records. And have each other's secret base and battle each other and everything.
That's what we gotta do. Oh yeah, talk to the guy with the crazy hair. Yeah, they are like the the all the different ones of them, huh? I got I gotta look into more of them because I'm like, oh I'm I'll do that when I'm like I know what's up. Don't they uh they like recontextualize them, right? In uh Oras? Oh that's a swello, not Taylo. <laughs> Oh wait, no, why didn't I switch to Electrack? I still have that. Oh, I don't have a rock move, though. I got Bite. <laughs> it worked well, okay, okay. I'm doing what I should have done. Oh, great. Double team? What the heck is this dude doing? <laughs> Please hit, though. Oh, thank you. This is really the point of question, but actually, I the explanation of uh, how became evil Superman was beat by another multiverse Superman, the bad one at certain. <laughs> I'll discuss who gets which secret hideout. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I gotta organize who gets what secret base so that so that they can actually, you know, go into each other's games, right? I'm gonna claim. I'm gonna claim the uh, Route 113 one. <laughs> oh yeah, the thing in Oras didn't go well. Oh yeah, also secret base not as fun in Oras. I remember at least they were kind of. I like the. I like the people who <laughs> made the Blissey bases in uh, Omega Ruby off of Sapphire because that made you know training pretty nice and easy. It's four. It's 4:59 there. Good morning. Good morning. Oh yeah, the, all the uh, the bug trainers here. Let me just say for thanks to his universe backstory to another good one. This point. Yeah, we gotta slap some. Uh, we gotta get some good old, some really neat moves on on Grovile. Yeah, I need... It's not gonna go well against flying types. Here. Do we break tradition and let Sparky evolve and keep it? <laughs> keep it with the team? Still be, it'll be uh, blue and yellow. Is that close enough to green? <laughs> I can quick attack. Let's go. Oh, so cool. Yeah, man. I need. I need some. I need some to use against these guys. It's 32 a.m. there. Uh, what am I? I'm at 4.33 p.m. So, you know, getting close to when I would start to wrap up the stream. I gotta figure out some dinner, too. Should, uh, should get a pizza. I make, <laughs> I order the pizza. I wish we'd never met. <laughs> okay, brother. All right, boyo. Let me actually put Echo up there. Because if if it's all the bug type guys right here. Yeah, I don't, I forgot to buy a repel.
Oh, Josh, hi there. It's Brooke. Brooke. Yo, Olive! Uh, did it to yourself back in the day when I was the same spot for your base. <laughs> same. Here, hang on. I gotta close my blinds, because they're getting... There we go. Barkness. Blue and yellow on the screen. It's close enough. Keep, say keep it as a light strike. <laughs> Let it stay at the party until we get Kecleon. For sure it's staying until at least Kecleon, but I mean, like, should it stay again, you know, for, uh, for Winona? Because all these, all these, like, even the bug flying Pokemon are kind of giving me a bit of, a uh, a bit of trouble. Uh-oh. Yo, Ninjas kind of goes crazy. Ah, I mean we four-shot him. Oh wait, that's really bad actually. He's got two Screech and one Sword Dance. I think that just kind of one-shots me. Sparky. Eat the hit, please. Oh, it still went... Oh, I would have got one more. I could have knocked it out. It was just going to sword dance again. Yeah, I'm going to need to paralyze Altaria. That's true. So I guess, I guess it probably would be good to keep Sparky here. I give up. Man, these bug guys are all... They're crying once they get beat. Zigzagoon! Oh, you're playing what's topping game again? What? Oh, what toppings? Fool Samurai Gator. They do crave pizza. I mean, I want pizza. I was at... So I was at the store today, I was at Target today, and um, I wanted a pizza from there. Is that, I don't know, I don't know if, uh, well I guess that's a good question, who has Target <laughs> where they are? Um, but at my Target, they, you know, they used to have the Target Cafe, not anymore. Now what they have though is they just have like the, the grab and go thing, where it's like they'll make little uh, personal pizzas every hour or so and put them on like a little um, heat rack. And then you can just grab them, you know, pay for them at a little, a little self checkout, and then <laughs> take them. And that's your, you know. And I thought about getting one, but I really wanted a burger for lunch. Uh, so now it's just like, ah. Uh. But I was thinking about pizza in, in general, so I'm like, what if we pizza now? What if we get a pig pizza? So we're doing decently against <laughs> these guys with just bite, but I think in the end, I mean, I don't think there are going to be any people with like psychic Pokemon though. Actually, you know, that's a great question. We should pull up a uh, should pull up Trap Inch's Learn Set <laughs> for this game. Then. Uh, let's see. Send me Emerald. It's 11.35 p.m. there? Oh, man. I was gonna say that's late, but I end up staying up later, so... <laughs> Oops. Yeah, we really need, like, a rock slide on Echo. You get a desert pizza bar? Or not desert, you got, you got the target pizza bar? You get nothing. Disappointment. Oh, no. I mean, I'm glad. Cause it, All right, so it used to be a Target Cafe. Oh, no, this thing isn't even flying type. Anymore. That, or not anymore, but this is bug poison. He 
Here, take this. Now let's just headbutt it, I guess. Uh, yeah, so we used to have the Target Cafe. Then it was, uh... Then... What did they do? Then they got rid of the Target Cafe and it was just a Starbucks. Then they added, uh, Witch Witch. Oh. Oh, I can't do anything. Uh, and then they got rid of the Witch Witch and then just replaced it with, like, a little... Yeah, one of those grab-and-go kind of things where it's like, here's a fridge with, like, you know, easy little lunches and drinks. And, uh, and then there's the heat rack with the pizza and the pasta. And then the popcorn that's, you know, popped in boxes. Which I prefer that, because honestly, Witch Witch kind of sucked. <laughs> Let's be honest. Jersey Mike's clears any day. When I met was with with toppings. The one stream made a poll about oh what should be on it correctly. Oh, was it the um what sandwich should I get? I think it was something like that. Man, this gauntlet of bug types. Actually, yeah, what couldn't we? Let's get let's do one more. Or not one more, but let's get a ball. Pizza does sound good. Think you're gonna order one? Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's, it's, it's a pizza kind of night. It's feeling like a pizza kind of night. Yeah, we'll bite. You know, I was gonna say, shi shiny trap pinch is green, isn't it? That would have been so cool to get like a shiny trap pinch. So it would have been super appropriate. Uh oh. That's right, this is water. <laughs> Alright, also Trap Inch. We'll get Crunch at level 33. So that might come in handy. Yeah, that's the next bigger. That's the next, uh. Big, uh. Big base power move it gets. Oopsie, I lost. Can she still try shiny hunt trap inch? <laughs> that would be such a good like What the What the it's all Pico. I heard about a cave called the Cave of Origin. <laughs> People rumored the spirits of Pokemon that live there. That really I mean, it doesn't explain all the wingle. There <laughs> Going everywhere. In the chairs in the corners. <laughs> I think the guy outside explains it right. I thought you could fly by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon and then hanging onto them somehow. But it turns out there's an HM move called Fly. I wish I'd known about that a long time ago. Oh, so they're all his. They're all his, Wingle. The Primal Reversion Wingle confirmed. <laughs> oh. Rock Tomb. 50 accuracy, though. Honest, I think I need to just get Rock Slide. Why is Trap Inch's Sprite pink? It does look kind of pinkish, huh? Or modern day, isn't it? Oh, oh, the mini sprite here. That's true. Yeah, because it's more orange on the, you know, an actual battle. But honestly, in all honesty, that would actually make such a good... That makes such a good, like, video. Like, such a good challenge to turn, you know, to make into a video of, like... I shiny hunted Trap Inch. In the original games. And these old... Hang on, in these older games, are there things to modify shiny rates? I mean, I gotta look into it. I gotta get, like, educated about shiny hunting in all games. Bro, did you see it? Trap Inch was green for a second. Did you see that? We got the green Trap Inch. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Uh oh. This Volbeat might be a problem, actually. Yeah, no shiny charms before Gen 6, you're afraid, yeah. Just hard encounters. I need, I need to get, like, multiple, uh, Game Boys and multiple game cartridges so that, you know, you can just do it. You can just do a hunt. Yeah, the old one out of 8192. Yeah, I think I think that's what I would what I would need. Like get the setup with multiple Game Boys and multiple game cartridges. And then obviously, you know. Just kinda have it going on. Ooh, nice. Kinda have it going on while you're doing something else. Greg. Oh, shoot. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just head right toward the Weather Institute because that's the first chance to, you know, heal. Heal for free. Revive. I want to watch Paul in the pool. Blue. What do you want? I feel like I remember you having, uh, Gloom. Oh, look at you. For someone on adventure, you're traveling awfully light. Is that an insult? Oh, Shiny Charm was introduced in Black 2, White 2? Ah. Yo, the Pokemon Ranger... Shoot, I love the Pokemon Ranger design in this game. It's so good. Uh, that's a bad matchup. Hang on, why does she have the Camper Overworld Sprite if she's actually a Pokemon Ranger? Oh yeah, I guess... I guess the Ranger doesn't have, um... Doesn't have their own Sprite in this game. Rippin' Pepperoni. I think her other Pokemon might be a Kadabra, maybe? Because if so, then we can try out Trap Inch. Oh, Roselia. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Mossy's all paralyzed. Kadab, bruh. Oh no, Leaf Blade is twice resisted. And that was- oh gosh, that was not enough. We need- we need the big headbutt from Mossy. Or just... Or just do this. As long as they don't get paralyzed, <laughs> we'll keep building. I simply will not get full para. Nah, I'd win. Now there it is. I don't even want to try anything else, even though I think technically Pursuit's the right choice, just to keep spamming me that. Agony. Yeah, at this point I'm See, if I didn't get if I if I didn't get uh Oh my Shoot, I need some full restores, man. Actually, quick attack was just the answer. I live. I live. 
The Roselia is sure is strong. You wish we had one. <laughs> no, no. Wait, didn't what well, didn't uh, didn't we find out that like it just isn't in the game or something like that? Or that like it shows up even later on? Dang, I really should have just been quick attacking the whole time. Yeah, the Pokemon Ranger is really cool. Yeah, Hoenn Pokemon Ranger. Top tier. Oh gosh, she wants my number. We're in. Oh shoot, I gotta heal before I get into another battle. So I got like two paral paralysis. Oh yeah, it's exclusive to Ruby and Sapphire for no reason. <laughs> the Roselia. I mean... Because... Actually, let's, uh... Alright, I think we'll do the Weather Institute quest. And that'll be the last thing. Actually, this guy's a ranger too, huh? And, yeah, I don't want to skip any of the trainers because, like, I mean, free experience is so... We need it. We're gonna need it. Oh, look! Yo, Breloom versus Breloom? Sorry. But mine's better. Okay, he got a crit, but mine's still better. Alright, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good on Echo. Oh yeah, there's the May battle right after the Institute. At least you can heal at the Institute, though. Oh, nice. I love, uh, I love double battles. Actually, you know, honestly, after the Institute, like, it's, uh, yeah, the May battle and then straight shot to Fortree City. So it's like, yeah, it's, it basically just all wraps up right there. No, not another bird. Yeah, yeah, you should be able to sleep in the bed inside. I'm glad, too. I'm glad they have that. Oh, that bird's focusing. Dun 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 I think there's like just a handful more of trainers. Oh, I need more PP. Okay, so verdi has got four more levels to it evolves. I need him to evolve, like, before the Winona battle, just so we can have that extra bit of bulk. But even then, I don't think... Even then, I don't think Verde's really making it out of, uh, out of the Winona battle. Yeah, Mossy definitely is just not gonna... I mean... She's faster than anyone. She can get some good headbutts in. So... There's that. <laughs> that disguise wasn't fooling anybody. You know... Like, out of all the Ninja Boy, like, the places they hide, you know, either the, either the rock or the, or the, uh, the tree. I think the best ones are in the, on Route 113, with all the soot. Because those ones are actually, like, uh, I don't know what to do. 
let's just destroy you first, honestly. But yeah, in Route 113, where they just hide under piles of soot, I think that's much better. Because it actually, you know, kind of blends in with the other piles of soot that have items in them. Oh shoot, you got more? Okay. Okay, alright. Alright, let's get revenge. <laughs> And one shot this, uh, this slugma. There we go. <laughs> the redemption. Okay, sweet. We can, we can take care of Numel. Are they just throwing things? Okay. Oh, no, I'm out of... Yep, yep, there it is. Out of PP for... <laughs> Headbutt. That was a crit on the resistant. That's nice. I mean, I'll take a self-destruct if you want to wrap it up coughing. That'd be pretty cool. No. Uh, and yeah, we'll just wrap it up. Okay, good. I'm glad I didn't get any misses with that. <laughs> Date. I thought that's a Drayton for a second. <laughs> it's a Dayton. And... Are there any more trainers? <laughs> Look at duty is surprisingly boring. Hey, you don't... Don't go near the Weather Institute. <laughs> We're standing look out here. Hey, you stay away from the Weather, weather Institute. It's not safe. <laughs> I just like how it's like, yeah, don't go there. Do not go there. You know, as an obvious, like, telling you where you should be going. While I was sleeping, everyone went upstairs. Oh, and there's a box here, too. It's a bed. Let's take a rest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. We're stopping Team Aqua. Here, yeah, I think Verde's really gonna need to take the lead for this. Actually, Pato needs... Uh, well, because... Oh, no, Pato's still weak, too. It has Surf, but it's still gonna be... It has Fake Out, actually. But in the end, it's still gonna be not good against... Not a good Pokemon against Winona. How... What's a kid doing here? Dun, 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 dun. Yo... Yo? Yo? Okay, Carvana. We can we can handle that. Good old Gen 3 livestream. Let's a go. <clears throat> yeah, I, I honestly really like streaming this game. I think in the future we could potentially even do more like footy. Additional challenges for the Gen 3 games. Oh, I, I gotta stream Fire Red at some point. That's for sure. Well, I gotta get Fire Red so I can stream it. The <laughs> boss got interested in the research they have going on here, so he sent us out. <laughs> you quit meddling. Yeah, I think it's funny too how. <laughs> Like, I mean, in the same stream right earlier at uh, Mount Chimney, Archie was just like, oh, thank you, you helped us out stopping Team Magma. And then here we are, just like, raining on his parade here. Why did Team Aqua Girl fire? No, not fire, water. This is Team Aqua. I think I can just Leaf Blade this and delete it. Yeah, there we go. Man, I kind of wish I had some more Pokemon to... Just to beat up on. Yo, double battle? Yeah, let's have Pato there. Get some experience. The Institute created a type of Pokemon. Wait, created a type? The Institute created a type of Pokemon that has something to do with the weather. We're here to take them. Don't tell me you're looking for that weather Pokemon, too. That's a no-no. 
we're here to get it first. Hey, they created cast form? Is that some lore I forgot? They're holding hands. What is that? Was it was that something I just forgot? Um let's I could surf, but oh no, we'll fake out the Zubat just to get you there. Ooh. I love I love fake out, man. Oh wait, no, no, it had <laughs> No. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, RIP. I think nature power is swift inside here. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, still take that rough skin. Yeah, we gotta get some better moves on everyone. Some more, uh, some more coverage. <laughs> Kidding me? No, every time like I'm in a battle in one of these games, it's just like, alright, let's vibe out to the music. Yo, the predict! But <laughs> that didn't help a whole lot. Actually, yeah, we're pretty close to, um... We're getting pretty close to, what? Oh, uh, Lily Cove City. So we can get rid of Rock Smash. <laughs> Shoot, we're already... I realize it's already 5 o'clock. <laughs> it's from all the time, uh... It's from all the time in the desert. Hey, chump. Yeah, Fire Red Leaf Green is good standard for version remakes. They refine the original setting and add quality of life updates, but don't change the whole game into something new. Uh, compromise between BDSP and ORAS. I, you know, I think that's a good... It's a good way of looking at it. Is that like it's that middle ground there? Yo, let's Fury Cutter. We're gonna Fury Cutter through his whole team. I didn't even see how many Pokemon he had, though. Oh, he's got three? Okay, yeah. We're doing it. We're gonna Fury Cutter. But yeah, Fire Red Leaf Green, that's another one I just have not played in so long. A Zubat? Come on, give me something easy to to Fury Cutter. No. Uh. Come on, it'd be really cool if you don't hit yourself at all, and then just like. Oh, thank you. All right, all right, one more. It'd be really cool if you snap out of confusion. Mmm. Dang. And that resets it, huh? Come on, I just want to use the funny... I want to use the funny bug-type move. Look, see, that would have gone, like, instant KO. Well, I mean, we always have Leaf Blade. And, you know, I think especially, too, it'd be a good idea, because, like, I don't... I just do not own a physical copy of either Fire Red or Leaf Green right now. I think that... Hmm. Maybe that might be the next thing I do. I mean, I always, obviously have to acquire it. Alright, let's go, Shelly. <laughs> You're going to meddle in Team Aqua's affairs? You're absolutely fearless, simply ignorant, or both. You're so cute. You're disgusting. I'll put you down, kitty. <laughs> no. Basado. Aqua Admin and Shelly would like to battle. I, I really like both Shelly designs. I find it so interesting, though, that that's like the one... 
the one that like is just so different between the original and the remake, like design-wise. But the thing is, is that they're both really good. I'm, I, I think Matt honestly looked worse in this game than he does in any other design they went with in uh, Oras. Uh, oh, okay. Dun, dun. Okay, cool. We, oh wait, no, not a, another confusion. Come on, I just got... <laughs> I just snapped out of the last one. Great. Bite, okay. If I... I just need to snap... I just need to not hit him myself. I'm sorry, Verde, I failed you. I'm sorry. Alright, Mossy, you're up. And now we just press the auto win button. Dun, 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 dun. There. <laughs> you're disgustingly strong. It's bad enough to have Team Magma blunder about, but now there's you. What makes you want to sniff around in our business anyway? We have a situation here. The Team Magma mob just passed the Weather Institute. They appear to be headed for Mount Pyre. What? Can't waste any time here. We have to hurry to Mount Pyre too. <laughs> Team Magma, just you wait. Thanks. Thanks to you, we're safe. It might be all way of thank you, but take this Pokemon. <laughs> uh, no. It goes right to the box. That Pokemon changes shape according to the weather conditions. There's plenty of time in the Institute. Oh, there's plenty of them in the Institute. Go ahead and take it. Been researching rain for many years, but it's ridiculous to think that humans can freely change the weather. And meanwhile, the two clones back there just <laughs> hang out. <clears throat> oh, boy. Alright, I think we can do the May battle right quick and then wrap it up. Uh, what team does May have now? I don't think our team is too different from last time, but it's still it's still definitely something. Oh yeah, and she's got a she's got a combuskin. Do I get her with this team? And let me see who she leads with. Uh, she is going to lead with, is it still going to be, let's see, fourth battle. No, yeah, it is the fourth, or no, but we want to go to Emerald, the Emerald teams. Third battle, fourth, oh great. Great, this is not... Hang on, let me pull up the... Da, da, da. I know she has that wingle. I know she has that wingle there. I believe so. Alright, let's dive in. Da, 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 da. Josh, where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? <laughs> Let me check for you. Ready with your Pokemon? <laughs> of course you are. Go. Uh, man, people talk about Nimona, but... <laughs> I feel like she's got the, the same personality here. Yeah, there it is. The Pelipper. Oh, gosh. Mm, and it's got Protect. And here I am, I just haven't given Sparky another <laughs> electric move, because I'm like... Ooh, that four times damage. Very nice. Um, 
Buskin. Do we stay in and just paralyze it? Oh, she's only got three Pokemon. Oh yeah, it's, okay, it's her same team that she had before. Just leveled up. Oh, yikes. Maybe I should switch switch out instead of <laughs> instead of just staying in on the. Uh... I was not gonna use a fire move if I hard switch to Mossy, if it's using Bulka. And yeah, just okay. I live it, and then we just big headbutt. Ooh, and a crit. <laughs> The chicken is no match for us. Lombre? Oh yeah, I just stayed on Lombre. It, it's funny how, like, she has basically the same team. But it goes much differently than last time. Since, like, by now, you definitely have a lot more Pokemon. And they'd be higher level, but the other time it's like, it's just... Definitively harder. I was worried you might be struggling with your training. No, she's literally just speaking like Nimona. But I have absolutely nothing uh, to worry about. Keep it up. And here I have a present for you. Nice. Oh, we need to catch a Tropius to fly. He's fly, you need gym badge from... I bet your mom's worried about you, Josh. It's me against someone. Oh, yeah. Scott the Waz? Oh, way to go, Josh. I just passed by a trainer riding a bike. You beat that trainer, didn't you? It was pretty obvious that you did. The kid looked really upset with a face all red from anger. Uh, you sure seem to run into... Uh, wait, I, I sure seem to run into often. Are you off to Fortree Gym next? I expect that you'll do well at the gym. Well, I'll be seeing you. I said to get the pizza by now. I didn't get it. Oh, dang it. I, I should have... I didn't see that. That was a double back. I, I, the disguise worked for once. You want main neck trick? Uh, this is a little awkward. Yo! Uh, I think I am probably gonna grab -ab a pizza. But obviously, you know, not now. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still a stream. I'm about to wrap it up, though. Cause yeah, as soon as we get to Fortree City, I think that's it. And I'll, I'll catch the, uh, what? I'll, I'll catch the Tropius and the Kecleon next time. Let's go! And then Echo will, uh, will definitely evolve next stream, so that'll be the big hype. Yeah, next stream, next stream we're gonna get some big evolutions. Yeah, I wonder what the accuracy of Sand Tomb is if it went and missed once. Uh-oh. Yeah, we got it. We clutched it. You show me who's the boss. Huh. Yeah, okay. And we'll, ba we'll battle them and get all the stuff next time. For now, we just, yeah, definitely we've gone over three hours. So I think that's where I want to be wrapping that up and ending that. Uh, excuse me, dude. What? Thank you, Daijirai, for the orange super chat. Literally, in the last minutes. Uh, who says? I just want to leave a tip. For every milestone we've done so far. We rode the cable car. She's the Fire Lord. Shiny hunting Cacnea? No, no. Uh, and got presents from uh, not one, but two fathers. <laughs> Can't wait to see our new treehouse. Hurrah. Yeah, let's go. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Do I have a... Let me see. Let me... Uh, again, thank you so much. And let me give you the drafted... Tw or uh, What have I got here? Any cool, funny tweets? Oh, yeah, that was that, basically. 
just the one talking about uh yeah the one talking about the the, the seashore shack in slateport city saying uh, the meme of a 97 year old seashore shack still makes soda pop the old-fashioned way uh man i don't have oh i talking about a terrible type of deck box that i don't like but i don't know if anyone would understand that without a visual aid or without you know knowing much about deck boxes you know what let's go ahead and let's just cat let's wrap it up by just catching um catching atropius now why not they should be right about here i don't think they're too rare or anything let's do that and then i can get i can get the uh Kecleon next time, obviously, with the Devon scope. <laughs> yeah, they are in... Yeah, no, they're... <laughs> they're not anywhere else aside from this route. Actually, I think they might be on the other route next to it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah, I gotta actually look up Cac uh, not, uh, Cast Form's lore. Because I'm like... Did... was that a thing? Because they were talking about, like, oh, the Weather Institute created a Pokémon. Elixir. Oh, fucking Gator Man, appreciate all the Primo content I put out this week. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've been taking a bit of a break, and actually, I guess... Well, I mean, I guess when I do, the, like, the little wrap-up of the stream, I'll go ahead and talk about the, um... The plans for the other... Or the other plans for the... Or, again, updates like I normally do. Hey, thank you, Cheesit62, for the yellow super chat who says Cacnea Gauntlet. <laughs> Thanks for the work of putting to your videos. So thank you, much appreciated. But uh, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm I'm glad I'm glad to be here. I always love like doing the Friday streams, but again, like I definitely do. Like by the end of it, it's like oh man, yeah, I cannot I cannot get people who uh, who will stream <laughs> like for six hours a day. I'm not built for that. No, not yet. Uh, thank you. Do I have a drafted tweet to read as a thank you while I'm here just looking for Atropius? Uh, I don't think I have many that I haven't read already. Oh, well, this is a story that related to a tweet that ended up not being made, but, um... So, I have, you know, I have a wireless headset, and it's a pretty nice one, uh, but I've had it for a long time, and it was kind of starting to fall apart. Uh, so on one hand, it's like you feel bad for it falling apart, but I've literally had it for three years. So, and you know, I've brought I've brought them like literally everywhere, but they're just they're just so good. Um, so point is, is that while they were falling apart, I would consider I wrote this tweet and I considered tweeting it and saying something like, uh, "Oh, good golly, my headset, my Bluetooth headset is falling apart, and I need a new one. Whatever shall I, a, a person with over eighty thousand YouTube subscribers, do?" Gee, I sure wish a company would send me a free headset or something like that. <laughs> um, like, as a joke. I ended up just kind of like... Uh, because, like... So, these are they were really nice, and so if I were to replace them and get, like, an exact one or, like, basically the equivalent, it would cost over a hundred. Because it's a really nice headset. So, instead, I decided, you know what? It still, t it still works, it still connects Bluetooth. It's just that physically one part is falling apart. Let me go right ahead and just crazy glue it back together. <laughs> and it worked. So that's that's that story. And you know what's going to be funny? You know it's going to be really funny. Let me look up Let me look up route 119. Cuz I was going to say it's, it would be really funny. It would be really hilarious. If this is yet another Pokemon, they decided to just change the odds of in Emerald version for no reason. Uh, let's see. Pokemon in Route 119. Tropius. Okay, no, Tropius is still here. Oh, but it's a 9%. Oh, you can find Kecleon in inside the grass? Really? Yeah, you can find Kecleon inside the grass at 1% without, without it being invisible in the overworld. Wow. Okay, but yeah, Tropius is a 9%. So it's a little... It's kind of one of the rarer Pokemon. 
and also, I guess I'll say, I, I see you have a little the... Oh no, that's a balloon. Uh, on your super chat, there's a funny little graphic and there's like a balloon with a one on it. And I guess it's a celebration, but the thing is like to me, from far away, the balloon almost looked like a pizza. <laughs> so I was just like, whoa. The funny pizza, because we talk about pizza. And you know, I, I kind of feel like this might end up just being another gauntlet though. Because 9% 9% Tropius in the grass. That might be a little too close. I mean, that's not far off from Cacnea, which was only six, which was six. Oh my gosh! Don't tell me I'm gonna have to like just do this next time and be like have it have it be a have it be another it, adventure in and of itself. Well, did I say what are getting on the pizza yet? No, I didn't. I, I honestly just always default to pepperoni pizza. I, I really like the basic pepperoni. I think it's good. I enjoy it. Um, I, I do like meat lovers, but I think tonight I think I will just default to pepperoni pizza. One, one of those, uh, like, why mess with the classics kind of thing. It's an all cactus pizza in honor of the stream. <laughs> Has anyone done that? Has anyone put Nopale on... Nopales on... On pizza? I feel like someone has probably done that. Nopal pizza. I guess that would... I guess that could taste good. Like, if you had meat also. I don't know. That I, I'm sure. I'm sure if you Google if you Google Nepal pizza, that someone's probably put them on. I I kind of want to just Google that myself. Oh, yep, it's been done. Someone's put Nopales on a pizza. So pizza cactus, it, it, or cactus pizza, <laughs> somebody's done it. Dang, I feel like maybe I should have been running through the grass the whole time while I was on my way up here. Just for the chance of, like, potentially bopping into a ca uh, Tropius. You know, for some reason I, th I thought I remember them being a, lot, a little more common. Yeah, I've had fried... Uh, you've had fried cactus and tamales before, so why not? Exactly. I mean, it's just... It's just a vegetable. People put veggies on pizza. Heck, I'd try it, but I, I would definitely want, like... still There to still be meat on the pizza. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, you know what? I think I'm gonna actually call it. I'm like, we'll, we'll do Tropius Gauntlet next time. That'll, that'll have to be the thing, the Tropius Gauntlet. And then that, that'll be the way to... to get... to do something during the stream. Here, let me, let me give that heal. So, in terms of... let's see, what's up this week? Uh, I do have to do some extra work this weekend. And you know, speaking of, like, stuff, I, I forgot to... I realized, like, I didn't... I went the whole stream without mentioning how I... kinda smashed part of my hand while working this week <laughs> while moving stuff around um but I tomorrow it, it's nothing it's nothing that would work tomorrow is nothing that would like cause me to potentially smash my hand <laughs> um see so yeah, I do have to do that this weekend so uh, I think there might still be I think I could still do get a video for Sunday and then we'll probably try to get back to like the Tuesday Thursday Tuesday, Thursday thing. I, well, I did, okay, I say smash my hand, but like it didn't, I, I say smash my hand, but like it wasn't like, I, okay, smash the skin on my hand. So it's like, you know how like when that happens, like you get the, you know, no bone gets hit, but it's like something just kind of pinches like your skin and your muscle and then it turns purple. That's what happened. It is, it isn't anything too big, but it's just like, um, it really hurt, and I don't have any band-aids at my 
place, or at my house here, uh, but I have, I have the gauze and wrap, so I'm like, <laughs> we'll do that. Uh, no, I, I'll be fine, but, and it doesn't, I mean, it just hurt. it hurts like when you touch it, but you, you know, what do you call that? What do you call that kind of injury? Where it's like the skin and the muscle get pinched between something, and it turns, it turns purple? That's what happened. I'm good. I was just moving stuff around in uh, in our storage room. Um, and I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> it's it's one of those, like, you know, injury and it hurts, and it's like, youch. Um, but it's like one that you can walk away from, but it's still like one of those, like, ah, that really, really hurts. <laughs> yeah, just like, Again, the big thing is like, man, I just don't like... When is it going to stop being purple? Yeah, it's just merely a flesh wound. Yeah, what would you call it? Like a big old bruise? Yeah, something like that. I'd take your hands to use them to play video games, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it was my left hand, at least. But, uh, in I guess in the video I recorded today of, like, opening up the, uh... Temporal forces. It's like I still had my hand wrapped up. <laughs> so. And again, like I said, it, it literally I just would want to keep a band-aid on it, but I don't have band-aids. So I have a I have a wrap on it, so it looks worse than it actually is. To other people. <laughs> it's like, oh man, what happened to your hand? Uh and as I'm Yeah, because every time you go to like oh gosh, every like little uh, other medical appointment. So, like, you know that the wrap, like the the you know the wrap that like adheres to itself, and they used to like you know after after you get a shot, they put those on. So, like, they just obviously you know post COVID now they just open up a fresh one per patient, and so every time they you know they do that, like you know for getting when I get blood taken or when I get medicine put in, they're like, all right, here, do you want this? Because <laughs> yeah, because they're they're not gonna. You know, it'd be wasteful to throw it out, and they're not gonna, like... They're, you're, they're doing that where they just open a fresh one for each patient. So I just have a bunch of those. Uh, point is... Point is, I'm fine, and thankfully tomorrow I don't need to move things around. Uh, but, I think, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, everyone seems to be enjoying the shorts lately. So I think, I honestly think I'll be doing a few more shorts. I started writing down ideas for them, too. So I think I think that's all on the horizon. Uh, I'm trying to gonna try and do more Yu-Gi-Oh content again because uh, I have some scripts done. I just need to sit down and record them, and then obviously do the editing for them. Uh, especially because I have one one Pokemon video idea that like vaguely I kind of want to mention something about Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, which oh by the way yeah the third uh, Gator X podcast for members is up. Uh, I think I talked about that at the beginning of the stream, but that's that's up. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, both Bait and I sat down and recorded. We had a great, like, just chat. Um, it, I think it worked really well, just, you know, just the two of us there. Uh, so I think I think it might be a bit back. Uh, I, got, I think for future podcasts, we're going to try and do, like, ideas and themes. Or not ideas and themes, but, you know, just something like, hey, here's a topic. Um, is there any... I don't think there's anything else I really needed to mention in terms of, like... In terms of, like, uh, updates. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, fun shiny hunt stream. Chill and nice yada yada. Thanks again for laughing at the plus seven one joke. <laughs> Stay hydrated and see you later. Thank you. Oh, yeah, be sure to put an included disclaimer. You're going to get a lot of worried comments. <laughs> True. I'd, I mean, it could be fixed by... I, I went out today and I just forgot to buy band-aids also. So. Uh, yep. All right, but otherwise, I think that's all I got to say. I will hopefully see you Sunday in a video. Probably a little short tomorrow also. And um, Yu-Gi-Oh! content probably be coming back. Uh, again, the oh, the Temporal Forces Elite Trainer Box. That video will be up tomorrow on Gator X Plays. Uh, and, ho and some more uh, card game content over there. And I think that's just all, all I want to say. See you next week, same time, uh, another stream, and we'll be continuing uh, Pokemon Emerald. And I realized maybe I need to get a little better at like the little outros. 
<laughs> at the end of the streams here. I need like I need like a funny little outro graphic, like just one while you're chatting. But anyway, thank you all uh, for joining. Thank you to uh, thank you Taijirai for the orange super chat. Thank you Cheezit62 for the yellow super chat. All just at the end. Thank you very much. Appreciated. We will be here. That is uh, again helpful because you know just with like uh, again you know just just uh, with sitting here being able to to stream here. But I'm glad I'm glad this all works out. Thank you for chill vibes. Have a good time. Great. Glad to hear. All right. Anyway, I'll catch you all uh, again. Drink some water. Stay hydrated. Enjoy your time. Enjoy some uh, some fun Pokemon's. And uh, anyway, yeah, the Scatterx, and uh, I will catch you all later.